cut, slept on me, trying to eat with vultures. Y'all look frail, let me feed the culture. Can't get full of the lead and coke, huh? Still sober? Y'all OD, follow me, where the rain follow me, king. Yeah, I know the king, Martin Luther King. You ain't really gonna throw but you in a drink. Wake up, wake up, y'all don't want it. Down to the white, I better put Milo on it. And let's soon cheat, go Milo, homie. And if I'm scared, I guess I don't know it, cause I'm still going stare right where the heat at. And where I ain't supposed to be, that's where I be at. And I spit that shit back, listen to the truth for the sky crack, and the Lord get back. Or well, somebody wants some hit back, and they click clack, they be bent back, kicking up this intact. Never left, but I've been back, cross on my bit neck, and I don't rap gospel, I live that. But I'm nothing but a gimmick. You see me in a club, hmm, funny, you was in it? Skip a cosign, shout out to the homie Kendrick. And all I hear is crickets when I run into the critics. Oh well, show tells me a lot when they tell me to rock. Keep my eyebrows raised, man, what I'm cooking. And the sales may drop, yeah, the mail may stop, but they ask for the truth, yeah, I'm a dog. They like how you do that now. Sound kinda nice, boy, who that down? It's everything real good, true and fair But you probably wouldn't listen if you knew that down If you knew that down Yes, sir. Keep your hands up. Keep your chin tuck. It's the one only ghost with the shadow in the front. And uh, y'all need to give me a couple of minutes uh, because this was a spontaneous live. And for some reason, why is it looking like that? Is that, can I hear? Is that audio okay? Hold on. I don't think the audio is okay. Okay, the audio seems like it's fine. The audio seems like it's fine. I don't know why it's doing that. It seems like there's an echo in here. I'm just going to keep going. Let me put that on mute then. Let me put that on mute. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give some time for people to come in here because this was like usually a spontaneous live. I mean, I, I did put a thumbnail up, but it was really, really short. So it's going to take a couple of minutes for people to come in here. Um, matter of fact, while I'm doing that, I might as well get the damn thumbnail up. Before people, let me see, add over here. Um, go to pictures and going to upload it right here. I'm going to be continuing off of yesterday and also talking about what Samson Lukowitz said on a boxing voice earlier today, which was in regards to the Fundora rematch we've been talking about. And also Bud Crawford. And also he mentioned Canelo and he mentioned basically the money that he's been asking for. Um. This is a topic that has came up over, over, over and over again. Uh, but uh, be be before I get into that, I want to touch on just yesterday. We were talking about Pitbull Cruz. And, you know, one of the things that I've noticed, man, is like, you know, I I, I think there's a, there's a different way that people perceive when they watch boxing. I really, I really think that you can have a person that watches a sport, but they definitely, is my damn camera fucking up? Yo, what is going on today, bro? Is my camera okay? Like, why do I look frozen? All right, I'm gonna just keep going. It looks like it's frozen. I should have, I should have just re reset this. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna just keep talking until people come in, uh, or more people come in. Um, Pitbull. Okay, we were talking about Pitbull yesterday and how he was, if he was a formidable opponent at 140. Um, and of course, a lot of people came in here and they think because of the victory over Roley that he doesn't have. 
I guess, enough skills to unify or or be undisputed. And I beg to differ. I think that when people say that a person is a formidable opponent, I'm uh, just talking about like any fighter. Any fighter can hurt you, stun you, rock you, or whatever, especially if they have some type of punching power. Um, and it's going to be interesting because I'll be dropping the link again, but I don't want some of the things that because I'm going to be talking about a different subject today, and I don't want that to take up. That took up a lot of time yesterday. In fact, I took up way too much time. I didn't even get through half of the topics I wanted to yesterday because Pitbull alone, it just seemed like people were getting upset about certain things. <coughs> Let me pull over what, what happened today. I'll go up in the boxing news real quick. Oh, one of the things they released earlier today was the, I don't know if you guys saw it. That is, that is crazy. Is it, I saw them talking about it earlier and it is $80, $80 for Haney and Ryan, bro, $80. And, and, and then people wonder why people wonder why. Let me see if the seats are selling today. That's one of the things I wanted to check again. Hold on one second. Let me check this again. So we're going over to the Barclays Center. Barclays Center. Let me see if I can share the screen real quick. Uh, over here, Barclays Center. And is that showing? I think it is showing. Okay. Uh, right there. Move over here. Haney versus Ryan. Let's type that in. Hey, what is today? Today's Wednesday or Thursday? I took the whole week off, so I don't even know what day it is today. I think it's Wednesday. Okay. Let me see right here. If I was to go and buy tickets, let's see. Okay, I agree right here by proceeding right here. Let's see how everything is looking today. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Damn. Yeah, man, you know it's bad, bro, when you don't even know what day it is. Damn. Uh, let me see right here. Okay. I will say this. I will say that there is more here than there was yesterday. If that is any good news, as you can see, that bottom left corner is being bought up. This is still not good for a fight of this magnitude. I'm wondering if they lowered the prices and maybe that's why. Let me see right here. Yesterday, this was around $6,000. It's still around six thousand dollars. Okay, all right. I, I I honestly cannot see anybody wanting to pay that much. Look, man. It, 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 the, now I understand what G Funky was saying, bro. It's not actually. It's not actually the fighters themselves. Like it's a good fight. It's a good fight. I just think when people look at inflation and they look at everything, and you look at it's in New York. It's in New York. It's not even on the West Coast where you would think this fight would imaginably be. Devin being from Oakland and Ryan being from wherever the hell Ryan from Victorville. I don't even know where the hell Ryan from. Where the hell is Ryan from? Did they show the undercard today, OG? They did. Is it out? Is it out? I mean, is it like officially out? Hold on one second. Yeah. Oh, okay. Finally, it's out. Oh, man. Finally, finally, finally. We get to see what they're showing on the undercard. This is fine. Okay. Okay. Um, Let me see if I can stop sharing that and go over here and pick that up real quick. Hey. Is my camera okay, man? I don't know what's going on. Why the fuck does every time I do like some spontaneous live, like the worst things happen to me, man? Okay, uh, right here. Yeah. Yeah, you know, um, HLD is always asking me for my Twitter handle, and I'm like, I I, I gave it to HLD. Uh, why? Is there something you, do you want me to see on there? I could pull it up. It's not a problem. I can pull it up, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, let's take a look at this undercard real, real quick. 
now that the undercard is finally out. So we have Arnold Barboza versus Sean McComb. Scrappy Moreras versus Jim Nunes and Charles Conwell versus Nathaniel G Gallimore. The same Nathaniel Gallimore I was mentioning yesterday that fucking uh, Erickson Lubin fought like eight, like eight years ago. What is going on? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Scrap, Scrappy a good fighter. No, yeah, Larry, he a good... No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's make things clear. You know, Scrappy's a good fighter. I'm talking about... We all know, bro, you you need a dance partner, bro. You can't, you know what I mean? Like, even if I'm a good fighter, like, if I was a good fighter, you can't throw me in there with, with nobody. Like, you already know what's going to happen. You would think this undercard would. Let me check this guy out real, real quick. Let me check him out real quick. Okay, so this guy, this guy, uh, uh, Sean McComb, he is primarily a UK fighter. All his fights, every single fight I see right here, except for one, except for one, his fourth fight. His fourth fight was fought in Boston. Everything else has been fought in Belfast, primarily. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a UK fighter. It's just... You know, if you're trying to put a, a fight on, you know, I don't think many people know who Sean McComb is. He's got one loss, which isn't that bad, but. <clears throat> yes, actually, um, yeah, actually, that is one of the topics I'm going to talk about. Uh, I was just waiting for a little bit more people to come in because I'm going to be dropping the link because uh, the last couple of days we were talking about what 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 Samson said on the night of the fight. And he has backtracked since then. And he has made it clear that he believes that the rematch should go to Tim Zhu. So he's actually made that very, very clear. I hope the man is a man of his word. Uh, but, you, you know, that only goes so far. I've talked about that already. But he did seem kind of confident, though. He did seem kind of confident. He was on he, he was on the Boxing Voice earlier today. I didn't catch everything. But basically... The situation with the WBO and Crawford having to contact them and negotiate, he was very, very clear on how he felt about Terrence Bud Bud Crawford. Um, it wasn't necessarily about whether he's a good he, he's a good a good fighter or not. He's talking about how much money Bud's going to be asking for, and he basically said it's outrageous. He basically said, "Look, bro." My fighter is a champion right now. There is no way in hell you're going to come up to this division, whether you're undisputed or not, and get more than 50%. Now, the, the issue that people have with that is when it comes to the whole, and I hate this shit, man. I really hate talking about the A side and all this other stuff. But, you know, people are like, well, if you sell more, then you should be the A side. I mean, we're talking Bud Crawford here. No offense. We're talking Bud Crawford here. I, I I believe the Bud Crawford fight and the Spence fight did draw in two fan bases. I'm not going to just say it was Errol Spence fan base because that's not true. Bud does have a fan base. But uh, Samson Lukowitz is making it quite clear that he is looking out for the, inter uh, the interest of Sebastian Fundora. And that includes money. And he's basically saying Spence nor Crawford is going to get more than 50-50. He made that clear today. HLD, HLD, what's going on, brother? Um, funny HLD's here. Uh, HLD was talking about earlier in the week that you know Samson Lukowitz is a man of his word and it's an ad, and he is. And you know what? It seems like he is HLD. He did reiterate today. He actually made it quite clear that after the uh, fight at the post press conference, he said that he. His emotions were high. And remember, I showed you the clip where him and Tim Zhu was arguing prior to the fight. And he brought that up. He brought that up. He says, you guys got to remember me and Tim Zhu had gotten into it. 
we had we had we had went back and forth. Um, and I was speaking out of emotion. But even with all that going on, even with all that going on, it's kind of crazy, bro. Promoters got these weird way of talking. Promoters remind me of lawyers in the way that they speak, bro. Some of the stuff that they say, it's weird, man. Just answer the damn question, bro. Answer the damn question. What's going on, Tycho? So did you guys catch any of that, though? And because I want to I want to ask you guys, I don't know if it was that fair. Because I do feel like a lot of people, you know, people are going to I already know what people are going to say, by the way. I already know what they're going to say. They're going to say, but Shadow, that's a fact. But Crawford doesn't sell. I, I, I this is the, this is the issue that I have in boxing, though, because I feel like if it was all about popularity and selling, why would you even like, what is the purpose of getting belts? Then what is the purpose of getting championship belts? That's the issue I have with all this, bro. It's like, you're taking the incentive away from somebody to unify or to become undisputed. In my opinion, when you sit there and you say, this man will get more money than you and he's accomplished less. That's basically what it is. And so it's like, so a guy can go and get and be undisputed and still fight another guy who doesn't even have one belt. And that guy could be making a hell of a lot more than him because he draws. So in that case, I'm thinking, well, what the fuck is the point of getting a belt then? Now, um, Samson Lukowitz, uh, Man, once again, every time Bud gets brought up, bro, these dudes attack his sales. It, 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 it. Did you hear what he said today? So this is what he said today. This is why I brought up this 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 thumbnail. So earlier today, he was on the Boxing Voice, I'd say it was around like 10 or 11 hours ago or whatever. I don't know if that was the show regarding yesterday or whatever. I think it could have been yesterday because I do believe I think HOD was on here and we were talking about it. But regardless... I did not watch it and I watched it earlier and um, I was watching where it was Ness. It was the two other guys that are on there, Danny and the other guy. And they were talking to Samson Lukowitz in regards to the rematch. Of course, they wanted to clear everything up and he did clear everything up. And basically, like I said, he said, look, I just want to say that I give nothing but credit to Tim Zoo. He says the man could have backed out. The man could have quit in the second round. The man could have said, I'm blind. It would have went to a no contest. He's like, I give that man nothing but respect in the world. And because of that, that man deserves the rematch. That's what Samson Lukowitz said. That man deserves the rematch, regardless of the argument that we had, regardless of the ill will or the feelings that we have towards one another. So, of course, Ness asked him, uh, okay, so... You know, when are we doing this? Uh, when, when, when are we doing this? Are, are we doing this next? And then to me, that's where the promoter language came in. That's where that promoter language came in. Once again. Um, of course, he mentioned the fact that Fundora is going to be getting surgery. Fundora is going to be getting surgery in November Actually, he didn't even say in November. He said that if there's going to be a rematch or a fight of any time, Sebastian will not be back in the ring until November. So then Ness proceeded to ask him, okay, well, are, are, when you say rematch, do you mean you're giving Tim Zoo an immediate rematch? Or does that mean that that you're, you're going to have him fight Spence and then give a rematch? And his answer to that was, once again, uh, well, we need to wait a little bit more time and, uh, you know... Um, the right thing to do would be next, but he's not understand. I, I mean, once again, I, I hate to hang on words, but if you listen to what he said, he said, he said the right thing to do would be next. He didn't say I'm definitely doing it next. He said the right thing to do would be next. I'm a man of my word, my word, uh, my, my word. He did bring that up again. My word is like, it, it, it wasn't a written contract, but it was my word. And I'm a man of my word. And I've been doing this for years. And, and, and he made that clear. So then when they asked him, okay, so is the rematch immediately next? He didn't say, yeah, it's immediately. He, he said the right thing to do is to do it next. And this is why I keep saying this, because I think people really need to understand something. Spence and Crawford had a rematch clause, and that shit was written on paper, bro. A lot of stuff can happen between now and November. 
There's like so many things that can happen, bro. Fundora can go in to get his surgery and find out he's hurt with somewhere else. He's got to get, or Tim Zhu might change his mind, or they might come to Tim Zhu with another proposal. Who knows, bro? Who knows? So I, he's smart when he says that because he knows with this community, they hang on to every damn word that you say. So he said he's a man of his word and that Tim Zhu deserves the rematch, which we've all agreed. Well, most of us has agreed, right? Then they, then they brought up Bud Crawford. And this is where, this is where, this is where it gets interesting, right? So I don't know if Samson Lukowitz has done any business with Bud Crawford. I don't know. But it, it just seems like whenever his name is brought up, he's quick to shut it down. That's all I'm saying. He's quick to shut it down. He said, the man asked for 15 million. Ness goes, did you, did he tell you that? He said, no, I, I heard that. I heard that. Then he, then he said, then he said, I shit you not. I shit you not. The man said, the man said, he said, Bud is no different than, than Devin Haney. Now, at first, I think people were uh, thinking about in regards to fighting, like their styles and everything, right? But he kind of clarified it a little bit later and said, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not talking about styles. I'm talking about like bringing ass to the seats, bro. He's like, he's no different than Devin. He says he's no different. He's like, he's the best fighter in the world, in my opinion, or at least one or the one or two of the best fighters in the world. But he's asking for money like he's Canelo. He's asking for money like he's Floyd Mayweather. But he sells like Devin Haney. That's Samson Lukowitz's words. Um, which I find that interesting because I never thought Spence had that much of a big fan base anyway. You know what I mean? Like I never thought Spence had this huge fan base, you know, I know he's got Texas locked down. He's got the whole state of Texas locked down, but I, 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 I didn't think like Spence had like a, a huge enormous following. You know what I mean? Yes, of course. Bob, Bob Aram said he lost, you know, he could, you know, buy a mansion. I still can't believe Bob said that to this day, but that goes to show you out of all promoters, Bob don't give two fucks. Bob is 90 something years old. I say this all the time and I don't say it as a joke, but when you're 90 something years old and like every day is like a lease of life, like every six days, he gets another six days to live, bro. He doesn't care. You think he cares if he hurts your feelings? The man even said it in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an interview, I'm at the age where I don't got the luxury to be thinking like, is that shit going to work out? Man, I'm 90 so or 80 something years old. You see what I'm saying? So Bob going to shoot from the hip all the time, all the time. Matter of fact, I think that's why a lot of people don't even mess with Bob. They know Bob going to be like, I ain't paying for that shit. Get out of here. Go, go talk to Oscar. Go talk to Eddie. Spence, Spence is the future pay-per-view king. Okay. I already know this guy's a troll. Because ain't no man in his right mind would ever believe that. It's okay to troll here, bro. Just be careful what you do and what you say. Um. Yeah, exactly, bro. Exactly. I mean, sometimes some trolls are good at hiding what they do. But when you come up with a comment like this, bro, Spence is the future paper. That's when you know he, he ain't here to be serious. Right. Yo, HOD, I'm glad I'm glad you brought that up, bro. Is it me? Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, for once. For once, me and HLD is on the same page and the live just started. Oh, shit. I don't know if it's because it's raining. I don't know if it's because we got the damn, uh, uh, what is it, on the 8th? We got the total solar eclipse. But damn, we starting off good today, HLD. 
I don't like talking about what I'm about to talk about, but I cannot help. I cannot help. I cannot help but talk about it. Give me one second. Okay. So, like HLD said, it is apparent, it is apparent, it is apparent. Um, Samson, to me, to me, anytime they bring up Bud Crawford, you could almost like feel it. I don't, I'm not saying it's personal. I'm not saying it's personal. I'm not saying anything like that. But what I am saying is like it, it it's kind of clear, bro. It's kind of clear. Anytime but Bud Crawford is brought up, anytime. It's it's quite clear. Like he it seems like he almost doesn't even want to do business with him. I don't know if that's how y'all getting it, but that's how I'm getting it. There are ways that you could say things without sounding to be mean. You don't always gotta be, you know what I mean? Like you don't always gotta say something or or, or, or like take a when 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 every time somebody's name is brought up and you gotta take a stab at them, bro, that that tells you something right there. That tells you something right there. You could talk about people without taking a stab. And it seemed like every time they brought up Bud Crawford, Samson took a stab at him. This is why I'm asking because, like I said, I'm never deep in the business or whatever. I just, I know a lot, a lot of content creators, they talk to the uh, they talk to the promoters. They talk to the sanctioned bodies. I, I've never really talked to them personally. I, the only thing I've really talked to is is, is maybe uh, T.O. Sr., Bill Haney, uh, 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 you know, and a couple of other people that's, that's in the sport. I've never really talked to anybody from the sanctioned body. So I, I'll admit I, I'm being straight up. I'm not the one to be like, I know what the fuck is going on because I don't, I don't. Um, but every time they brought up bud, he basically said, bud is asking for too much money, but he, he did say, he did say, he did say bud is the, did he say he's the best fighter in the world? One or two of the best fighters in the world. But then he said 15 million. So Ness is like, did you hear 15 million? He's like, uh, well, no, no, no. I'm, well, I'm hearing 15 million. I'm hearing 15 million. Well, after I watched this, right? Oh, oh, and then he, of course he made the comment. He says, you know, this guy's asking for money like he's Canelo or like he's Floyd, right? He's asking for this type of money. but he brings in people like he's Devin Haney. Wow. There was a field day. I never be the one, you know, yesterday, the topic of race came up. I knew the topic of race was going to come up yesterday. When I mentioned Pitbull is dangerous for anybody at 140. Yeah. For some reason, bro, people cannot avoid race. They just can't, bro. I don't like it, but for some reason, it's just unavoidable at times. People always got to insert it in there because they think that people, some people feel that is the primary the primary objective or the primary reason why somebody says something all the time. I like to call it a victim mentality and you don't have to be black to have a mental. There are Latinos. Does any the white people, anybody can have a victim mentality, bro. It just simply means anytime something goes wrong in your life or something like you blame it on that. Well, I, after I watch this, right. I was getting dressed earlier today and I was going to uh, uh, bring something to my friend. And as I'm doing that, I'm, I'm watching this live. And uh, I mean, if you guys want, I'll tell you who it is, but it's really not that important, but I will tell you if, if, if you want me to, but my whole thing is this. I've always said that I'll watch anybody, bro. I'll watch anybody. If it's Southpaw, if it's ego, if it's showbiz, I do watch the boxing voice. I watch everybody, bro, because I honestly feel like they, if you've been watching boxing as long as we have, just because they have narratives at times doesn't mean every once in a while they'll, they'll spit some shit. You know what I mean? I've told you before that I've went to uh, South Paul's channel and even though I was laughing my ass off, 
out of the 20 minutes I was there, he did say some factual shit. And I was like, oh, I agree with that. So it wasn't all like, you know what I mean? It wasn't all crazy, bro. So I'll watch anybody. So today, I'm watching a channel. And they go on to say, Samson Lukowitz is basically saying that Fundora should get more than Crawford. So I'm listening. I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah, I know. He 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 did say that. And then he's like, you know, he's over here saying that you you know, Bud don't sell and all this other stuff. And I'm listening. I'm like, yeah, he 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 did say that. He did say that. <laughs> and then they, after everything they said, they turn around and then they go, you see, I want y'all to pay attention because this is how they're doing the black American fighters. And I'm like, ah, there the fuck we go. The fuck. How? That's not even true because they mentioned Floyd, bro. Samson mentioned Floyd. Actually, Samson, correct, quote words, quote words. Samson said, Floyd Mayweather is the smartest businessman he's ever met in boxing, period. He says, nobody, not even Canelo. He said, not even Canelo. He says, the only person that's ever came close to Floyd is Canelo. But not even, he said, not even Canelo's money touches Floyd's or the way that he does business. So of course people are going to use this as an opportunity to make it racial when I don't think it's racial, bro. The fact of the matter is, I think it's quite clear that Bud Crawford doesn't pack arenas, bro. That has nothing to do on how he fights. It's just the truth. There's plenty of fighters, bro, that fight. They're, they're, they're bad and dangerous fighters, but they just don't pack out arenas, bro. They don't. For whatever reason it is. And then we got people, right? And we got people like, hey, look, and now it's even showing you that it doesn't even matter now. Because now you got people like Ryan who's supposed to sell. And once again, you know, they were talking about that today too. You know, the the, the, the Ryan and the, the, the Devin Haney and Ryan tickets are $80. So it's even getting to a point where even if you do got that personality or that charisma, it still ain't going to matter. Especially in the days of fire sticks and, and, and inflation. So if that's happening with fire sticks and inflation and Bud wasn't selling like that prior to all this, what you think he going to do now? What you think, what you think Bud's number is going to be now, bro? Like what you think they're going to be now? That goes for anybody, bro. Anybody. And as far as Spence goes, I never thought Spence had that huge of a fan base anyway. He's got a he's got a fan base, obviously. He does. But I, I don't I don't think it's as big as Tank's. Like Tank, I think Tank got a pretty, pretty good fan base. As much as people get on Tank, I think Tank got a pretty good fan base. Tank got no problems, regardless of his numbers. I know sometimes they're lower than usual, but let's not forget, bro, that in, in a day and age today. 300, 400,000 is a success. 400, 500,000 pay-per-views is a success in 2024 because of the piracy, bro. So Good. Right. So here we go. I was going to suggest before I drop the link. Because I know people are going to want to talk about this because I already know. I already know people got drastic views on this, right? I don't think it's about race, bro. Does race sell? Of course, bro. I've been over this a thousand times, of course. But I don't think it's the driving factor. I don't think it's the driving factor. I think it's just, I think it's a, it's a, it's a combination of multiple things, your mouthpiece, your promotion, how you fight. Not everybody could do what Floyd did, bro. I'm telling you, there will never be another Floyd Mayweather. I don't see it. I don't see it, bro. I'm never, I, I, I'm dead serious. I don't think there will ever be another Floyd. That man was able to make so much money and generate so much revenue. And he could be fighting somebody that's really like you would think he's fighting somebody. I'm not saying he he didn't fight anybody. That's what I was saying. I'm saying the way that he's promoting it, it would seem like it's a like, like a huge, you know what I mean? But he was so good at what he did. He was so good at what he did. 
I don't think we're ever going to get anything like that again, man. You got people that try. They, they, I don't think they come close, bro. Um, what about Tank? Tank got Tank Tank got Tank got a Tank got a fan base, but you know what? Tank Tank doesn't have that. No, Tank's another one too. Let me ask you: You think if Tank had more of a personality, he would sell more? I guarantee you, he would. If he had a personality like uh, I'm not gonna say Ryan because Ryan is kind of weird. Ryan is kind of weird. Um. If Tank had a personality like Adrian Broner, you think he'd sell more? He'd sell a hell of a lot more. Hey, that actually makes sense, bro. And this is what I'm saying. Look, look, this is what I'm saying. If you ask it for so much money, that's going to affect the undercard. I mean, I don't know if that's really how that works, but if that's true, then that goes to show you how much money they're asking for because this 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 undercard, who's going to pay $6,000 to sit that close when you have that that as an undercard too? It's not the best undercard. I, I it's it's not, I'm going to tell you right now, for a pay-per-view of this caliber, what it's supposed to be, that that undercard is not good, bro. That undercard is not I'm not saying the fighters aren't good. I'm saying it doesn't live up to the expectations of what you're probably going to be looking for. PBC did. Surprisingly, they did. I will tell you this right now. I give credit to where credit is due, bro. That PBC pay-per-view was on point from the preliminaries all the way up to the main event. Everything. It was a success as far as excitement goes. I'll tell you that right now. Only, only pay-per-view where I actually, that was the only paper. I'm not saying it was the best pay-per-view ever, but I'm saying it literally, I went live twice that night after the prelims and then to kind of like talk about it. And then I went live during the Roly and tank fight and had the panic attack. So did you guys see, oh, I will go back to the Crawford. I will go back to the Crawford in a second. Did you guys see the, uh, the, the zone? Um, remember we were, we, we were talking about, uh, the blood, sweat and tears on, I think it's on, that's uh, the blood, sweat and tears is on top rank, right? Gloves off is now the new PBC, right? And now. Now the zone has let me pull it up real quick. The zone has something called what is what is this? Uh I don't know exactly what it's called, but I guess it's 40 days. Regardless, it's like their own version. It's like their own version of what we've been talking about. And I found it interesting because I'm telling you, they're trying everything they can to sell this fight, bro. They they are trying everything they can to sell this fight. And, and, and I don't, I, I just see, let me see if, the, I know I did. I did clip it. I did clip it. But it was because I went spontaneous. Uh, I can't, I did a spontaneous live. I didn't have everything set up, but, it, but it's right here. Give me a second. I have it. I have it. Yes, here it is right here. Give me a second, guys. Give me a second. I have it. <clears throat> Do you really want to see that fight? Hey, I'm going to keep it consistent, man. If it's a fight that I think that should be better, I'm I'm gonna say that. Like I I I feel a certain way about that Tio fight, and I'm a I'm a big y'all y'all know I'm a Tio fan, bro. Like I ain't got no problem saying that that I, there's a difference between being a fan and a fanboy. I support Tiffy Lopez, bro. I support him in everything that he does. 
But I got to be 100% when I say I'm not thrilled about him fighting some guy named Claggett. I'm not thrilled at all. Especially when I feel like you you're you should be fighting unifying or something like that but that's a different story and we know what happened with that but nonetheless would you be happy with this pounds would you be happy with J- Josh Kelly versus Crawford this is the issue that I, that I'm look this is the issue and we were talking about this yesterday and I want to make it clear bro I like Bud Crawford bro I do I just think he hurts himself with some of the things he's trying to get. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like sometimes, bro, and I'm not here to tell him what to do, but I'm just saying, I'm looking at everything from the outside as a fan. I don't know what they talk about behind the scenes, bro. I really don't. But all I know is he went from supposedly to have a Spence rematch to that getting that stopping. Then he wanted to fight Canelo. He wanted to move. Well, before that, he said he was going to fight Jamel. Then Jamel fought Canelo, and after that performance, he said, nah, I don't want to fight Jamel now. Then he then he said he want to fight Canelo. After he said he would never want to fight Canelo. You're, it's, you could change your mind. It is what it is. People change their mind all the time. Then he goes from that to, ah, you know what, maybe I'll fight Tim Zhu. Now Tim Zhu loses to Fandora in the situation that we are in now. And my thing is like, I think he could have got, I think he could have got one of those. Let me see right here. I see the kitty cat. I think, I think, um, I just think that sometimes, bro, there's no problem with taking a little less, man. Especially if you're going to get something. Because now look, he's been out the ring for that long. He's been out the ring for that long. He hasn't had a fight. Who's he going to fight? So Samson Lukowicz said, uh, he, once again, he took a stab at Crawford and, and, and said, you know, he sells like Haney, but he says he should be fighting boots. That's what he said. He said, Bud Crawford should do the honorable thing and fight boots. That's what Samson said. The honorable thing. Well, we know that's not going to happen because that's not going to sell. Um, and here, here, herein lies the problem with a lot of the fights that we have today. Ryan and Haney, which is a fight that you would think would be sold, at least getting sold out. They're doing whatever they can to sell this fight, bro. I give it to them. Ryan's over here talking about the Bohemian Grove and witchcraft and all types of things that I believe really happens, but it's still, it's just, it's just weird, you know, weird timing. Talking about all this crazy stuff, doing all this controversial things, right? And it's still not selling, bro. It's still not. They're over here going on these shows. They showed everything to sell this fight, bro. What what has to be 500? Ghost. The seats? Oh, you're talking about the seats. Yeah. LG cat guy. I know. I know. Hey, I fuck with my mods, man, because my mods be trolling the shit out of me, bro. Actually, my mods, actually, they be helping me with the trolls, bro. They, they troll on me every day, and it's like I'm getting exercise and shit. So now when a real troll pops up, I'm like, okay, yeah. I done dealt with OG all week. The fuck you gonna do to me? Um, I mean, we it could be, it could be like what happened with Fundora and Tim Zhu, right? That 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 arena was not selling at all. That arena was not selling at all. Two days prior, it started selling. We still got, bro. We still got fifteen days. Fifteen days. Troll sparring, exactly, exactly. So, uh, 
the point that I had before the Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia, before I dropped the link, uh, it was about Crawford, right? Did I cover that part where he said, uh, there was something I think I was forgetting, bro. Something that. Okay. Yeah. He, he, uh, he said he asked for too much money. Oh, okay. There you go. There you go. Um, in regard, he said the same thing for Spence as well. And this is where I actually give Samson Lukowicz some credit, bro. I give him some credit as a promoter. I give him some credit, bro. Here y'all go with the Berlanga shit. He's not that guy, bro. He's not that guy. Um... This is where I actually have a lot of respect for him. Number one, he did say, he did say that he was emotional. And he said, yo, we did get into it prior to the fight. Tim Zhu, we had an argument. He's like, but I give this man nothing but respect because basically if he didn't do what he did, my fighter wouldn't be champion right now. Let's just keep it a buck. He could have said, he could have said, I don't want to fight Fundora on a short notice. When the cut happened, he could have said, I can't see. He says, I know champions or champions. I believe I know champions right now. That would have been like, I can't see. It would have been a no contest. And it would have been like that. He's like, this man wanted to keep on going. This man wanted to keep on fighting. And because of that, I want to give him a rematch regardless of how I feel. But once again, when they said, is it going to be immediate? He said, we got to take time. We got to see. Promoter language. It's it's very it's very easy, bro. Like, you ask a lot of these guys a yes or no question, and when they don't start off with yes or no, you already know what's coming, bro. You already know what's coming. A whole barrage of fucking riddles, bro. Bill Haney, Bill Haney is the master of that, bro. The master of that. Hey, Bill, after this fight, is your son Devin? Are you guys going to go for Undisputed? Well, well, hold on a second. Well, hold on. Well, Dev, Dev, hold up, Dev. Uh, well, well, first off, uh, uh, Undisputed, right? Un undisputed. Oh, what well, we talk about three belts, right? Oh, three. Oh, uh, yeah. Pro grade. And it'll just keep going. And he goes for so long that two minutes later, you forgot what the fuck you asked him. I think that. If everything goes fine, we will see the rematch because Lukowicz is seeming like he wants to keep his end of the deal as verbal. But like I said, bro, a lot of things could happen. Fundora is going in for surgery. Fundora, he said, he said clearly Fundora won't be ready till November anyway. A lot of things could happen in November. A lot of things could happen. How do we know we're not going to get Crawford and Tim Zhu by then? Which, by the way, the only way I see Crawford fighting Tim Zhu is if there's enough money for that fight. And I think that fight, I think that fight actually is still the smartest fight for Bud. I think it's still the smartest fight for Bud. He's a good opponent, at least, right? We know Tim Zhu got dog and he'll, he'll we, we know he's not going to duck him. He's not going to duck him. We know Tim Zhu is from Australia and they back their fighters very, very well. They're very supportive of their fighters, right? So you got that. So you got that locked down. The only thing you got to come to terms with is how much you're going to get paid. And there, therein lies the problem again. 15 million, bro. If that's true. Who's going who's gonna to pay that? Yeah, I know he's Puerto Rican. That's exactly why I'm hard on him. Pause. That's exactly why I, 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 I treat him the way that I do. Expect a high level. The bar is set very high for, for Puerto Rican fighters, bro. As I'm dropping the link, I will ask the question. Besides the narratives that we see on, on, on YouTube, why do people always got to say it, it's 
they took they take what Samson said and now they make this whole conspiracy theory out of it. Like, look, y'all better pay attention now. Y'all better pay attention what they do in the bud because they doing that to all of us. They start doing shit like that. And you're like, come on, bro. Is you serious right now? Like, is you serious, my guy? Like, is that is that where you're going to take it? They literally mentioned Floyd, bro. They literally mentioned Floyd. I think, hey, I think Spence right now, Spence right now, I think Lubin puts his paws on him, bro. Yeah. I think, I think, I think, I think Lubin, I think Lubin beats Spence, bro. I think he beats him. And they said they were lowering the seats for the. I, I don't see them. I don't. I don't know where they're where they're coming up with that they're lowering the 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 prices of the of Devin Haney. I I don't see it, bro. I will look at it again. I I don't see it. I see the same. I see the same thing. I keep seeing, bro. Here it is, right here. See? All that blue. All that blue. All that blue indicates available. The red indicates verified resale or it's it's taken bro okay it is it is what it is and that other blue is the handicap accessibility which there's not many of those so basically all that blue is what's is what's there and this is the barclays in new york the barclay center as we go over here the lowest price if you look to the right, if you look to the right, right here. Let me see if I can move, move over. If you look to the right, right here, you're going to see row 19, row 14, row 13, right? These are the lowest prices, right? The lowest prices. Row 20, row 13, row 18, row 12. That's a pretty good one. How much is that? $243. Row 12. Section, wait, wait, which one is this? Hold on, where's that? At? No, I ain't buying that shit. Back the fuck out. No, hell no. I'm just where, where is that? It doesn't matter. The lowest tickets over here are under 300 or under 250, just about the best seats now. However, look at this, bro. This is this is crazy. This is crazy. The best seats over here, the ones up front. Nine thousand eight hundred and sixteen dollars to sit in the front row, section F two. Nine thousand eight hundred and sixteen dollars. I'm sorry, that's row one. Row two, five thousand eight hundred and twelve dollars, and then row uh row row one again. Is another six thousand four hundred. They're all over five thousand dollars, bro. We're we're talking close to seven thousand dollars. The highest one is almost ten grand. And then you got to remember the undercard. So basically, bro, if if you got money like that. If you got money like that, then you could do it, bro. But most people, most people, if they're gonna spend that much, bro, they're they're gonna they they're gonna incorporate unless you live unless you live nearby, right? People are gonna want to get a hotel. People are gonna factor in the uh, a two day stay. They're probably gonna want to pay for dinner and stuff or wherever. They're probably not just gonna watch boxing, by the way. 
You're probably going to go to, uh, 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 you know, Times Square or whatever, right? They're going to want to have a good time. So you got to factor all that in too, if they're not from New York. That's just if they want to go places around that area. Anywhere in New York. And you already know prices are in New York. Any, I still do not understand. Why in the hell did they make this fight here? I have no idea. I still don't understand why they did that. Hold on one second. If you did not want the fight competing close to Canelo and Munga. Is that why? Hold on a second. Let's look up the schedule. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Hold on. schedule boxing schedule right now um Here we are right here. Okay, hold on one second. Let me, hold on one second. No, what, why is that popping up, bro? Back up. Back the fuck up, man. Stop. Hold on. This stupid shit, man. I got, I'm just going to back out. I'm going to go right back, go to another one. Let me go over to... Let's go to boxing scene. I think boxing scene is the best. Probably what we should do is the boxing scene right here. Okay, here we are right here. April 6th, Hitchens. Where's the Canelo fight? I, I see your text, by the way. I see it. Hold on a second. April 20th. Oh, okay. What day? But still, bro, that's pounds. Or who, 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 who said that? Ghost? Nah, I don't think that's the reason. That, that doesn't even look like a good. Why? 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 The 20, uh, the 20th to May 4th, bro, we're talking almost two weeks. Why would you think that? Why would you think that would coincide? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think the venue is the problem. But even that doesn't make sense. Why, why you would put it in, in New York anyway. Give me a second. <laughs> this is funny.
I it still it still doesn't make any sense, bro. It still does, you would make you would make more money being on the opposite side. Hold on. Wait a second. Give me a second here. I hope she's not watching. That's cr oh man, y'all trying to fuck me up. Oh hell no. Let me drop this again. Hey, where where is 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 G Funky here? No, I did not. Oh, hell no. Oh, man. She does put me on the damn spot. Get me my anxiety. Boy, fucking with me, boy. Make me go crazy over here. Hold on one second. Let me see right here. I'm, I'm going to show this again. Where is Canelo fighting? Trying to do the live at the same time. This is this is gonna drive me nuts. Who? Who are you talking about, Pancho? They're fighting in Vegas. Okay, hold on one second. Hold on. Let me, let me get this out the way first. Okay, Canelo Alvarez is fighting May 4th at the T-Mobile Arena, right? If we go to the T-Mobile Arena, let me show you something. Let me show you something. Where is it at? Is the screen showing it? There it is right here. Hold on. T-Mobile Arena right here. I'm going to go to Canelo versus Mungia, right? Matter of fact, it's probably better if I just type in Canelo versus Mungia. It is right. Oh, 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 hold on a second. Not to change topics. Did you guys see this, by the way? Canelo's surprise amid Benavidez speculation is the fight finally happened. Did you guys see that? Did you guys hear about that?
Let me see right here. Hold on one second. I don't want to play that because I'm going to get struck. Canelo Alvarez says he has a big surprise for his Mexican fans on May 4th when he defends his undisputed super middleweight championship against Jaime Munguia. The way Canelo smiled looking from, from who? Who the hell is Clenshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland? Who the hell is that? The way Canelo smiled looking like Chenshire Cat. Who the, who, who the fuck is that? Who's that? Who be writing these articles? The way Canelo smiled looking like Crenshaw Cat from Alice in Wonderland. Some people believe he could have a big announcement potentially about his long-awaited mega fight against David Benavides in, in September. One can only hope that that's the case because the Mexican superstar has got many people down on him, viewing him as afraid of Benavides, who may not, who may not be as good as some fans think. HOD, hop on the damn panel, bro, so I can take care of something. I can't do three things at the same time. It's fucking driving me nuts here. Fifteen. What?
is your mom really watching? I don't know if you can hear me. That's crazy. Y'all really trying to get my, my damn anxiety going, boy. Yo, HLD, you coming up, bro? You know, HLD, I don't get you, HLD. You come up every every other damn time. Every other time I drop, every every time the damn I every time I go live, you you always come up here and want to argue with me. But today you don't want to argue with me or or talk to me about something. Come on, HLD. I figured you. I figured you'd be the first one up here once I mentioned Bud not selling, and you're the one always asking, "Uh, uh, 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 uh what's Bud Corporate gonna?" There you go. There you go, my buddy. <laughs> there you go. I had to bait you in, brother. I had no, to bait you man. in, dude. I got a life, man. I got things. I got. You know, sometimes I listen to you guys and and, and you know shoot the shit, and I and I'll tap in here and there, but. <laughs> You know, sometimes I get tied up, man. I got a personal life. No, too. no. hey, 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 look, hey, man, everyone's got a personal life. Oh, you, you got no problem put your, putting your life at hold on times to come over here and mess with me. No, I take care of business first, man. I take care of business. And then with the free time that I got, then, you know, I'll shoot it with you guys, man. But uh, when I got to take care of things at home, that's number one priority. <laughs> Okay, so let me just ask you real quick, because uh, I, I did want to get your op opinion on this, bro. Um, Bud Crawford. Bud Crawford asking $15 million, right? What did you take out of it? Was it? You said something about Samson not liking Bud? No, he and didn't. Then, and then with the racist, what did, what, what did you say? He, he don't like him, man. He doesn't like Bud Crawford. He doesn't like, he doesn't like the type of businessman that he is. He doesn't like the way he, he's very. He look, look Samsung and, and and Bob Arum, they're they're good friends over thirty years, if mm -hmm. not more. And you know, one thing he said on that thing is like, you know, he, using that race car to call Arum. He didn't like that. Take him to court with that narrative. He didn't like that. He didn't appreciate him. Then he saw what out the, how he played his game with 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 uh with with PBC and and you know with the Spence dealings. Um. But hey, I said the exact same thing he said. But I, but instead of using uh, Haney, I said Tio. Remember, I said that. Yes, he's like in the same boat. You know, these guys are, are of accomplishments, but they don't sell. And so, unfortunately, you cannot demand what 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 you don't sell. So that you know, but he used Haney because you know he he he. I guess you know he was on the on the boxing board, so it'll it'll. It'll hit a bigger nerve, <laughs> Saint Haney, but uh, which is true. Haney Haney's been overpaid too uh, with with Eddie Hearn uh, past few years without selling shit. So uh, uh, I, I mean, I agree with what he's what, with what he's saying as far as, and he also said what I thought that the rematch is bigger than both Spence and Crawford. So I mean, I, I you know, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hey, uh. We're talking. We're we're talking Spence. Spence versus him or or Crawford. No, he said that the rematch with Tim Zoo is bigger than either Spence or Crawford, anyways. And I agree with him. I've said that a couple of days ago. So you know, I don't. I so you don't you so you don't think that you don't think that Tim Zoo you don't think that Tim Zoo and Spence in Texas you don't think that's good. No, I'm not saying that's not good. No, I'm, I'm saying you don't think it sells more than a rematch? It doesn't sell more than a rematch, no. No. Because, I mean, I, I said the other day that I believe the rematch does more. However, here, here goes the difference. Here, here goes the difference, though. Okay? I thought the rematch was going to do a lot more, but then I realized that Samson Lukowitz made it clear that the rematch is going to have to be in America. I think I think he has yeah I think on the boxing voice he's see it's a, it was a long it was like forty five minutes or something like that. Um, I no he he said he said and I'm gonna tell you right now how this becomes an issue because we both know that if Tim Zhu fights in America and he fights in Australia to me the numbers are gonna be different because you go to Australia you're gonna make a, a, a I think I think the gate is bigger and then you got all the stuff that they're gonna sell over there and stuff like that it makes a huge difference bro. The rematch, I think, in the the rematch in uh, and he said he in Australia it, is bigger. I think I think it would right, be right. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Hear, hear, hear me out. 
the rematch in Australia is a lot bigger, but he made it he made it clear that the rematch is going to be in America. Yeah, it could be that too. I mean, I'm not. I mean, those are those are too much of a details to even discuss right now. I think the most thing we got to focus on who are they going to fight. You know what I mean? Uh, the details of where it's going to, you know, it, it could be a toss up from Durham, Texas, or or. But I think Tim Zhu in 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 in, in, uh, in Australia would would be huge. Um, but you know, you got to res- uh, one one thing I like about what he was mentioning is you got to respect the champion. And uh, Tim and, and Fundora is, you know, for all intended purposes, he is the two belt unified champion. And so he he believes that going into those negotiations, that makes him the A side. Now, he also went into detail that the WBO can pull that that card that they did with uh, with Shakur and uh, and hearing that the, the hearing being the champion, you know. The, the the split was more in favor for for Shakur, but that's the WBO. But not, now they have the WBC, so mm-hmm. those rules, those bylaws, do not apply, just like that. And so, uh, and if we could look at it, it's it's you know the 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 laws with uh, with the WBC, it's it's seventy five twenty five unless you take it to a petition to the board and to see if there's a better a better deal, which would be of like what the WBC did with Shakur and and Haney after he petitioned how much hey he did trying to offer me you know twenty five I think I deserve more here are my numbers and the board of governors with the WBC ruled that if Haney was to ever fight Shakur it would be a fifty fifty split and that's exactly what uh, Samsung is saying that the split between Spence. And and Tim and and Fondora would be fifty fifty, and that would be the same that Crawford would have to take fifty fifty. You know, not not he's not, not, he's not. You know damn well he's not gonna take. He's not gonna take. Uh, he's not gonna he, take less than fifty. Yeah. So then, you know, just like I was saying before, and, both and you Spence. Think, you think you think and you think Spence will? No, he already said that Spence will. Spence is willing to take the fifty fifty and go and understand that you know you you you're coming from the from, you know you're coming from from another division. And 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 you're going against the champion, so you know 50-50, I think is is, is very fair. I think it's very fair. Now, if one of those guys had a belt and at one fifty four, then we can talk about it. But I think by them, no, they either they look. Spencer already said he'll take it, so you know, it's either take it or go kick rocks. And for all I care, man, I don't care about neither one of those guys, man. It's got to be Tim Zoo. That's it. I don't, there's no other options for me. It's got to be Tim Zhu rematch, and then the winner in that fights Terrence Crawford. I believe that is fair. Crawford fights the winner of the rematch. Spence could go kick rocks, but if Crawford is not going to take the 50-50 split, then he could go kick rocks. He could fight, you know, another David Kardashian, and hopefully, BLK Prime could give him a few million dollars for it, because that's what's going to happen. But uh, but yeah, but 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 Samson's not—he's not a happy camper. He doesn't like Crawford. <laughs> That's very. I, have, have they ever done business before, though? I mean, because that that would make me seem like every time they brought up Crawford, he he made a uh, he just you could just tell he just sounded like he didn't like him. Then he said, then he said, uh, he said he compares him to Devin Haney. Well, yeah, and selling wise, that's what he does. Right, that's and what... you remember Ness, 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 Ness was like, "Hey, hey, what do you mean, Devin Haney? He doesn't fight anything like Devin Haney." He says, "No, no, no, no. I'm not saying that he fights like Devin Haney. I'm saying that he sells like Devin Haney. I don't think Crawford sells like Devin Haney, bro. I think he sells a little bit more than that." What was that again? I, I'm sorry, I, got, I had a call come in and buzz me out. You, you do you need to take it? No, no, no. I, I, no, I kicked it for a second. Go ahead. I said that I'd um I said I don't necessarily agree with that because I I I think that Bud Crawford sells a little bit more than Devin Haney, bro. I think he does it if you take it to Nebraska, you know what I mean? I think in Nebraska he saw he sold he's you know he sells it out and and you know good for him. Um and that's but a pay per view wise, uh he doesn't sell shit. So um that's that's where that that's where he's coming from you know that's where he's coming from but uh but he you got to understand he's also loyal to P, to PBC and 
you know, uh, all that goofy shit that Crawford made Spence do, the coin flip, and I don't know what other concessions he had to give just to fight a one belt champion. Uh, I, I think that rubbed the whole PBC the wrong way with with one in it. So Say that's, that that's how I would take it. Say that again. Then I'm the saying that's part? not the 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 that the way he rubbed the Crawford rubbed the PBC the wrong way. You know that's that's why. Yeah, but he, that but that 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 had nothing to do with Samson. So why would he even feel like that? That he well he because be, 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 because he already seen what because he already seen what he did to his you know all intended purposes his friend Bob Arum. He, he doesn't like him for that. He doesn't like him for for that in his Bob Bob Arum. You yeah, mean, I'll hate him. No, for what Crawford did to Bob Arum by suing him and oh, okay. bringing the oh, race yeah, yeah, he did, he did sue. Did he get the money from Bob Arum? Did he? Did, did he? Sue uh, him? that 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 disappeared, man. That lawsuit disappeared. That's all I gotta say. I don't. I haven't heard any word of it. Hell, Teal sued Triller, and and got paid sooner because for all that debacle. They had to pay T another like one point two million dollars, I think it was, and they pay, and he got paid. So, uh, 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 you know uh, that that lawsuit. I don't know what happened to it, man. You know, maybe it did get settled out of court. I don't know, but um, but he didn't like that narrative. You know what I mean? He surely didn't like that. Now, did he? You know, was he in his right to sue him for? I think he may have he may uh, Aaron may have owed him a fight, uh, a fight or two under the contract, and I think that's what it should have been based on. That's uh, that's all fair, uh, you know, all fair game. If he owes if Aaron owed him money on that, then good for that. But you know, the narrative of trying to make him look, you know, uh, that he was racist and whatnot. That's why Crawford also doesn't like uh, 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 reporting. Uh, what's his name? Um, Ellie setback. Yeah, Ellie setback because Ellie setback also backs um, Bob Arum. Um, he didn't like when Haney was was calling him trash and whatever. So, anyways, but uh, outside of that, the the you know th there's that, and then they they know he's trying to ask for 15 million for Tim Zhu, and I know Tim Zhu's like, get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, <laughs> where do you where do you get 15 million dollars? I mean, like I said. Teal's done. A, he he carried the work at 135. He did what he had to do at 140. But it doesn't mean you, you 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 know you earn you you get to you say oh right, give me 10 million dollars, right? You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Not that Teal's asking for that, but he doesn't. You know what I mean? He do, he 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 he's got to play within the parameters of what you what you're selling, and then if you don't sell, then you know that's the market is what the market is. Nobody's in the business to lose money. And just give us fights over here to public. Mm -hmm. Hey, that eighty dollars, bro. That's not nah, hell no, hell no. Come on, man. Hell you got no. come on, man. It's worth yo, it's for the fight of the year. Devin Haney nah, versus Ryan Garcia. H O D, listen, even if you try to fucking pretend, bro, you can't even you you can't even sell this fight like that, bro. There's come no, on, no man. Oh, if no, you're no, a no, no, if you're no, a fight no. fan, you, you man, if you don't buy it, you don't love boxing, bro. Okay, no, you know what? I know, I know you. Being, what, hey, nah, what, hey, I know you being. Uh, what's the word? What's the word? Uh, I'm being an asshole, sarcastic motherfucker. Yeah, but you're like that all the time, though. <laughs> um, well, no, I'm not talking. Hey, so, so, hey, so, no, 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 seriously. And, and you got, I, I know you're gonna be honest with me, bro. I know you're gonna be honest with me. Are you really paying for this fight, bro? You know what? Look, let, let, let me tell you where my stance is. I love, I love, I love this shit talking on the community. I like to be oh, involved oh, with the fight. Hold on, before you answer, I want to make it clear, and this is for you, HLD. This yeah. is for you, because last time you said that you wasn't paying for a pay per view, people in the comments literally took it as you that you were stealing it, bro. People in the comments, what? I went back on my live. Remember yeah. the time you remember that time we were going back and forth with, with PBC and right. you right? Right. And you said you you said that uh you wasn't paying for it. No, I, and I didn't watch it, which is why I kind of feel stupid because when I'm trying to talk with you guys, right? I don't know everything. And I and so I, you know, hey, from what I'm hearing, from what I saw on on, on X. And but this, like where, this, this is what I'm trying to tell you, HOD. Like everybody, I believe everybody. Listen, I this is just my opinion. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. 
you ever see those other channels that try to point out the people like, oh, you, you know, it, if you're, I think if you're stealing, it's wrong. Let me make that clear. If you steal, it's wrong. Okay. I'm not going to sit here and act like I've never stolen a fight, bro. That's I, just I, nuts. I, That's I, nuts, I, I, bro. I, I have, but I, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't been what into that. What do you mean shit. you have? I haven't. I have, but I haven't. Have no, no, no. I have. No, no. I'm. T- you're not letting me. You are, I haven't. I haven't. Nah, nah. I haven't. I haven't. Nah, a, we need a lie detector test. For my, 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 well, you you may, you may go ahead and do that. I haven't. Okay. I, you have. Look, look, let me put it this way. Look, look like Nestor Gibbs, right? The boxing right. boys. Me and him, right. we, we, we don't get along for nothing. You know, I've called him out on his bullshit. And 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 I've embarrassed him on his bullshit. Now he's got me blocked uh, on Twitter. You know what I mean? He's got me blocked. We had at it, and we, we, we he got me blocked. Now I did see that Samsung interview, right? And I and 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 I saw the part where he goes, "Yo, I am gonna honor the rematch." So I took that clip. I went on Twitter, and I make a breaking news: Samsung is going to honor. Sa- Sam- Samsung is going to honor. The, the rematch and uh, and I put and I played the clip and guess what even though he's got me blocked who uh Nestor Gibbs the boxing voice I still I still oh, give wait, it Nestor Gibbs got you but why why because he, we've gone at it I've called him out on his bullshit and uh and and I've, and I've embarrassed him on his channel um uh, on his channel and on uh uh on on, uh, on X but he blocked me on X so, uh, so anyway, we saw that interview, right? We all saw that Samsung interview. I grabbed that clip. I posted it on my on, on Twitter. Breaking news: Samsung will honor the uh, right. The Ness Ness is a is a hypocrite. You know, the, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get into that. We'll get into that. Let me finish my thing. Let me finish my thing. Because you're 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 on my channel and you're starting to you're, you're starting to talk about people and then they're gonna take it as I'm. No, I'm gonna right, finish right, it. I'm gonna finish. I'm, I'll get to that. Let me just finish because I'm reading the, what you're popping up. So even though he's got me blocked, I blocked on Twitter, right? You know, I still put on the thing, yo, interview on the boxing voice. You know what I mean? Click here, whatever. I give credit where credit is due. Even though I don't like the guy uh, for, for where, you know, I mean, I, I don't like a lot of the shit that he does, that he does. But even still then, I give him his credit. I saw some other guys putting out, oh, Samsung breaking news. And, 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 and like, dude, why don't, you, why don't you give credit to the source where you got that from? The boxing voice, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? So even though he's got me blocked, I'm, I'm, my integrity. It has nothing to do with anything. It's my integrity. It just says, yo, man, give credit where credit is due. There's no reason to steal. You got this, uh, the, 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 the two, what that fucking comedian guy's name, uh, the superstar motherfucker that he calls himself, uh, to, uh you know that guy. He, he's on Twitter, bro. The superstar. Uh, Chubby dude is losing weight. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, oh, wait, wait, say that again. The 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 content creator, the superstar, whatever his name is. Uh, oh, the guy, the guy that you got mad because he he said go steal the shit. Go steal the shit, and you're over here. Uh, monet- you're, 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 about, you're monetizing. Uh, yeah, the, you're, you're I'm like, about, what, what, what you're the fuck? About the guy that goes uh, respectfully. Yeah, that 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 clown. Okay, that is you know, smart. like he's funny, and I get you know, like you know, yeah. But here he is over here talking about, you know, the, the fire stick boys are out. And this, and I'm like, motherfucker, you're monetizing the content of Devin Haney. And right, you're talking for it for months. You're going to make money on this because you're monetized on, on YouTube. You're monetized on, on. And so you're over here promoting to steal the fight. Yo, you're a piece of shit, bro. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck is that? I think that's even that's worse than you saying. Even you, you're not monetizing. You're going, all right, you're going you're gonna to steal it. But fuck, this guy's even worse than that. He's making money off of it. Wait, wait, wait. I've never, I've never, I've never said on this channel I'm stealing a pay-per-view. I just said, I just said that I have in the past, and I'm not gonna act like I've never fucking stolen. Well, uh, okay, so even still, you're you're not making money off of it, is my point. You know, this guy's making money. Nor 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 am I promoting it. You know, right, right, exactly. My whole issue, my whole issue is this is that. I'm not going to sit here and say that you've never done anything like that, but I'm just saying like, you know how, how it sounds, how a lot of people listen. You, I, and look, can, look, and who, look. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let me say something. Let me, let me say, cause I'll let you, I'll let you cook for a second. A lot of, a lot of people, a lot of people, uh, here comes, hold on one second. Here he is. What's, what's going on, brother? A lot of people, a lot of people 
well, well, and, and it doesn't matter what people think. I'm just telling you how it sounds. How would it sound if I sat up here and I said online, I've never lied before. Yeah, but that's be that lying and stealing is two different things, my man. Right, right. How long how long you been watching boxing for? I got back into it with Tio, man. So what three, four years now? I don't know. Four years. That's a lie. That's a lie, bro. That's a lie. That's a lie. Because I've known you for more than three years, HOD. I got no man. That's when I got in back. I, that's when I, I got into the game because I bro, boxing, I I thought it was hopeless, bro. And I stopped watching it for a good minute. I stopped watching boxing for a good minute. I didn't give a shit. But Teal brought me back into the game. You know what I mean? That's all. So it's yeah. been what whatever time you see me on this on the YouTube thing, it's kind of like 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 maybe a few months before that is when I started, you know, catching up. So like, you know, this Teal guy is a man. I like this motherfucker. So not no that, fellow haters. Hey, you guys can talk for a second. Uh I gotta I gotta go use the bathroom. Copy that. But yeah, just, you know, okay, yeah, I'm just saying just say. You know, like like for an example, you got you got you know everybody thinks that smoking weed is okay and it's all good and I'm like, no, nah, man. Like, have I smoked weed yet? When I was a young pup, but I don't think it's cool. I don't think you know using it as a vice because you don't know how to control your shit. You know, every day you need to be you know living off of that. I don't. Know, I think you know. I I think it's stupid. I think my head is is being dumbass to me. But that's that's the way I am. I mean, I do now comparing that to stealing. No, man, I think I think people don't understand that, like, for an example, this past Saturday, those fighters, you know, especially Tim Zhu and Fondora, they, for all we saw, they beat the shit out of themselves, bleeding to death, and you're stealing the fight that these guys are getting paid based off of. That's, 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 that, you got to have low integrity well, not to understand that. Well, don't well, bite, here's, don't here's, watch it. Well, he, well, here's the thing, right? I mean, my thing is, you know, I mean, based off of le you know le legalities, if we want to use that as a uh, a measuring stick, yeah. I mean, if if we're going by that logic, yeah. I mean, it's you know probably not wise or <laughs> to tell people to uh, steal the fight, but at the same time, I mean, you can't just be putting shit everything every single thing on TV for eight eighty dollars or pay per view for eighty dollars and shit and expect. Your fan base to just continue to, you know, what I'm saying you, to, uh, you don't watch to it, like, but don't watch it. There, there, how many movies come out in a year? Do you think I'm gonna go watch every fucking damn movie? No, man. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna no, buy but, what I want to watch. And if I don't want to no, watch that, it, then yeah. I then I won't. Like I didn't. I didn't think that this past weekend uh, uh, was worthy of, of of buying it. And and so oh, I didn't. No. I didn't. I didn't buy it. You know, I didn't think it was worth it, and so I, I didn't buy it. But I, that means I didn't watch it, which is all I'm seeing is by clips that I see on on, on Twitter and 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 what people are you know are talking about. And I'm like, cool. Hopefully, Amazon. Well, you know it what? This weekend. You know what? No, I didn't watch it. Actually, I didn't watch it live. I was watching the Zerto Ramirez fight. I should have watched. I should have actually turned on the other fight. Was I was cool. watching the zone card, man. That's what I was doing. Yeah. So it is what it is, um, but but no, uh, I, I think if you're if you're especially if you're a damn content creator making money off the backs of these fighters, yo, you, sh you by no means are you supposed to be, you know, stealing this shit. Yeah. No, I mean, well, you know, I mean, once again, I mean, based, you know, if we're going from the legality aspect, but from the morality standpoint, I mean, I don't. Not I'm every fight should be a pay per view. It shouldn't be on. Not every fight should be on pay per view. I agree with that, but the yeah, only I mean, way this changes is, 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 yo, don't, don't, don't buy it. Don't watch it. Don't whatever. Right. Keep, keep it moving. Well, yeah. I, well, I honestly, I don't think that they did. I don't even think that. I'm gonna be honest with this card. They didn't do 120 million. I mean, 120 thousand. I'm telling you that right now. Um. Well, I, you know, hey, look, I, I, everybody who 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 paid for that I that I've spoken to, uh, you know, and, or I said they 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 they, they at least enjoyed the, the fight. Was it worthy of it? I don't know. Was it a good card? From everybody I heard, it's a good card. But there's many good cards that that are for free. You know what I mean? You, or you just watch it on your subscription, and and and, and that's that. Well, so, well, I mean, I mean, well, look, if they could come down on the price, I mean, thir look, thirty nine ninety nine might be enticing for me to buy you know what i'm saying but in this well, you hey, know in this hey hey but but you gotta buy look man 
I'm definitely eighty dollars for the fighter of the year, Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia. That's that's worth every penny, bro. I don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to see it. I don't want to see no damn walk. That's gonna be a that. Hey, I mean, if if Haney don't knock him the fuck out, man, there's no point of watching that fight because well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, honestly, I don't know. I mean, Ryan Garcia but got here, if, here, here's he my question. Here, here, here's here's my pickle that I was trying to tell Shadow goes earlier. I didn't watch. I didn't pay for last. You know, I didn't buy it. I didn't pay for it. I didn't watch it. But you know, uh, th there's a different aspect besides it being. It's just you know, shit talking here on these panels. You know what I mean? Seeing the fight to be able to discuss and I, yo, this this is this is a this, you know just for the community itself. You know, uh, it, it's um, right now today. I'm like, man, should I just bought it, bro? Because like that, I can I, I I can really give you my two cents. You know what I mean? Because I I don't have it. You know what I mean? And so, I mean, be, for the community here talking shit with you guys and all that, it it, it may be worth it, or at least going to the sports bar. It, it was probably what I should have done. Yeah, uh, well, well, that's where it should have been on. It should have been on a regular fucking televised free. Like, I mean, you're paying. Well, like, you gotta understand. well I mean, let, but let me tell you guys, you don't have to steal it, bro. Find yourself a good sports bar, you know. Go have a get, eat a meal, spend you know. I mean, I go when I go, and I you know, I I I probably spend more a little more than eighty bucks because I'm gonna have you know, uh, I'm buying appetizers, I'm eating you know, uh, surfing turf, and you know, and a couple of drinks. So you you know, you you're gonna spend, but at least you know, you you get to watch the fight, you have some good food, take someone with you, right, and 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 have a good time. Uh, you you don't have to steal the fight. You you know those well, people they pay for these they pay thousands of dollars so they can have have those uh pay per views at, at their at their location and you could just go and support the local business and 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 at the same time have a good it, have a good meal. Yeah, no, that no, 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 no. That see, I wouldn't mind doing that shit. But where is who the fuck is gonna play that fight? Especially if they if whatever casino, whatever place you go to doesn't have Amazon Prime. Well, my you my know? my spot has always uh, th that I go to always has uh, you know I've, I've never I've, I don't think I've ever gone there to where they don't have one on, you know the fight I mean, that I'm gonna at least, watch. At least the spots I go to, none of those spots have have any. They ain't playing no fights. The ones they did, they're all closed down. So <laughs> you know, but uh, but that's that's my two cents, man. I, there's nothing else for me to uh, you know. We'll see what happens with it. I think the pay per view. Should be cheaper. Maybe they should be doing looking into well, that. But how? Because I I just jumped in and how much was that pay per view? For which one? The one on Saturday. Uh, Shadow. I think he, I think it was seventy, right, guys? I think Shadow. Uh, what, what did you say? What did you say? How much was the pay per view this past Saturday? How much was it? I think it was seventy plus tax. Probably like I just on eight bucks. PayPal. I can check my PayPal. Hold on. It was had to be like with tax, like eighty. No, I think it was more than that because it was it had taxes on it. That's that's ludicrous. That's crazy. But um, wow. Why do you do are do you pay for pay per views, bro? Me, no, I don't buy fights. I stream all of them. Yeah, I know you criticize it, but it's what I do. <laughs> I yeah, I'm I'm a part of the reason why boxing's shit. But you notice how I say part, right? Because it's also mm -hmm. the promotional companies they're at fault too. I think PBC is very apparent they're falling down ever since post Mayweather. Uh, Al Heyman's been desperately trying to find that new star, and each fighter he chooses, each new fighter he sees potential in, they always fucking fall. Spence, Wilder, and Tank. He takes next. They're just too scared to put him in with any threat, any good opponent, because they know what would happen. So he, so he's their last hope, but they know damn well he's limited, and he will lose any meaningful fight he's in. So they're just clutching on to him. But uh, PBC's done. Al Heyman's a joke. Uh, he's one of the worst promoters in boxing. Um, he's done. You know, in the next decade, I don't expect to see him around. In the sport, next decade, yeah, I mean, around there, yeah. in ten years. He's, I don't not gonna, he's not going to be here probably in the next 
I give it five. Two, I give it five years, man. I'll give it ten, but we somewhat agree on that. And yeah, and he's done. You know, he's yeah, ten years of fucking PBC, Al Heyman. Y'all gonna talk about something? Um, don't know what to talk about. I don't know. I'll read the comments. And no, no. How about how about this? Uh, Bud Bud Crawford. Uh, do y'all think that he should be uh, you know, fifteen million for a fight, or what do you think? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Historian, what do you think about that? Oh, what? Uh, so, yeah, so, so uh, yeah, uh, go ahead. Samson Lukowitz. Samson Lukowitz said that he believes that Bud Crawford is asking for way too much money. And and that uh, he says that he's asking for Canelo, he's asking for money like he's Canelo or but or or or, uh, or Floyd Mayweather. When in reality, when when in reality he sells like he's Devin Haney. Well, uh, I mean I, he sells more than Devin Haney, but I'll say to Crawford asking for Canelo money. I, I mean it's fifteen. Well, well, it's like this, right? I, I'm not going to sit up there and say what he thinks he deserves, but he got to, you know, if he's asking for $15 million, then he's a damn fool because the, the market is not. It's, look, these guys better be lucky to get one or two, one or two to three million at the most. You know? Like, I don't know what these guys, I don't think these guys understand their value is not really that high nowadays. I mean, you have, you know, Anthony Joshua and, you know, Alfred's, you know, because they have their strong fan base of their particular country. Or, like these guys, they ain't, they ain't gonna make that kind of money over here in the earth. You know, um, if he's asking for that, he's, then he's very foolish. But, same time, gotta give him something. Up. I think he's, honestly, I think he's looking for one, one more uh, fight for one more big day. He's out. Oh yeah, by the way, these uh um let me go ahead and address this comment why I'm trying to do with he a Canelo hey what 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 know? comment huh what comment what, oh no I'm just trying to be style uh comment I don't hate on Canelo he just he's a cherry picking man just like just no like hold, a, on, hold on bro hold on 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 why you call it why <laughs> How is Canelo a cherry picker when he went undisputed at 168? I don't understand oh, why he, everybody. Why, why does everybody say that about Canelo, bro? Like, I, I don't. How do you cherry pick a division when he went through every single champion, bro? Well, yeah, he was. Uh, they they crafted a, a path for him, man. Like, I mean, he he followed. He followed hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't crack. They were champions already, boxing historian. They were already champions. They were undefeated. They were undefeated in their prime champions. They were so, already there. So, they were already there prior to him even uh, uh, arriving to that division. So when uh, they, well, yeah, I mean, you know, but here's the thing, though. So, you know, you beat the guys that you knew you were going to beat. But when, you know, they've been defeated back to back in the scene, what, what is he doing? You don't want to know so much with that big deal. D style. I mean, not D style. My bad. Um, Shadow goes. Quick question, right? I don't, yeah. In the four belt era, all of the undisputed champions, would you say Canelo's resume or his um, road to undisputed is it one of the weakest ones or one of the strongest roads to undisputed out of any fighter? I would think his wasn't his probably one of the hardest. He literally he literally went through every single champion, bro. No, 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 no. Exactly. Then he went, he went, oh, hold on, hold on. He went through, he went, you know, let me, before I say anything, let me make sure that, that I'm hundred percent accurate here, bro. I need to be hundred percent accurate here because this is why I feel like Canelo gets so much hate and I don't understand why this man gets so much hate, bro. No, but I really good. don't understand. Yeah. Oh, okay. So look, this man, this man faced, he faced, he went up to 175. He faced, oh, oh wait a second. Wait a second. Let me share the screen. No. 168 we're talking about but like yeah i know hold on bro hold on you asked me a question let me okay. answer it let let, let let me answer the way that i want to answer it okay 
um, right here. He was at 175. He beat Sergey Kovalev, re regardless of what it is. He went down. Then he went to 168, and he fought Callum Smith, an undefeated Callum Smith. Then he fought his mandatory Yildirim. Then he fought undefeated Billy Joe Saunders. Then after that, he went right for Caleb Plant. Then after that, he went back up to 175 and fought Dimitri Bibble. So, yeah, you, so, so you tell me. You you tell me with that. You you answer that with your own No, question. so I was going to say, like, his road to undisputed, right, compared to other fighters that went undisputed in the four belt era, is Canelo is was his road one of the toughest compared to Usyk and Crawford, um, Haney, Josh Taylor, or was it weaker than those? Like that's because in my opinion, I would say Usyk probably had the toughest road to undisputed out of any undisputed guy in the four belt era. And I just, I just want to know if Canelo ranks in the, you know, was his road tougher or was it on the weaker side compared to the rest? Of those fighters you know you got war too and um yeah and he was a undisputed in the four belt era too at 168 i believe so you got a lot of fighters to choose from that's why i know yeah where do you rank canelo on the weaker end or the stronger end in terms of his road to undisputed are you asking me or are you yeah asking yeah, yeah, yeah i'm yeah, not yeah. the one i'm not the one with the issue with canelo no, 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 no. But do you rank? So his road was it on the weaker end or the? Well, you're tough? asking me, and you already know the answer. What I'm going to tell you? Why don't you ask him? He's the one saying that the man that the man cherry picked his whole career. You should be asking him because well, if, you ask me, if you ask me, if you ask me, I'm already. To, I I just told you, bro. I the man moved up the once. The man fought the the man fought Sergey Kovalev at 175, then went down to 168 and fought Callum Smith, then fought his mandatory Yildirim. Then fought think, undefeated Billy Joe Sanders, uh, Billy Joe Saunders, and then fought Kayla Plant, bro. I think the point I was trying to make is like not all undisputed runs are the same. Like I think Usyk's undisputed run is like vastly more like valuable than Canelo's undisputed run because Usyk fought like actual like competition. Like he fought really good competition. He fought actual threats. He fought very skilled fighters. Canelo, I mean, it was Billy Joe's first. You know, I mean, he was only there for like two or three fights and he and he's been done ever since and plus billy looked uh, like trash at 168 right before he fought canelo at 168 he looked like garbage he looked slow he didn't look like the billy joe that you know he always was um plant was a decent fighter i guess but he, he never really impressed me and then you got Kalem. he just Kalem was never like much either you know compared to Usyk, you know he was gosdick was oh you know I, I mean not gosdick um he fought at the other guy at uh the guy he beat out, oh no, Gazi, my bad. He beat Gazi, you know, he was a very, you know, good opponent. You know, he was ranked in, in, the, in the top 10 pound for pound, you know, in multiple rankings. I remember back in 2017, 2018, you know, yeah, a lot of great fighters lose to be that cruiserweight. And I just feel like that you bring up the argument that Canelo was undisputed, but like it doesn't mean much, man, because like other fighters had more like better runs. That this show is not every undisputed run is um equally as valuable you know and i just feel out oh, of all the fighters all the fighters that went undisputed i think canelo's road was the weakest one i would even argue was weaker than crawford's run to undisputed well i'm gonna say this i agree to a certain degree <clears throat> that he he had a perfectly crafted um you know roles and undisputed even though you know he went he did what he had to do but I, i'll say Devin haney's well, at least at least he fought Loma, even though I thought Loma beat him, at least like Loma was there, you know, whereas Canelo, he didn't have yeah, anybody true. with the talent and the skill level of Loma in his way too undisputed, you know, like Caleb and, and, and Caleb and Billy, you know, that's in my opinion, that's more pathetic than Crawford's run at 140, if I'm being quite honest, but um, like shadow goes i think it just shows that like undisputed like i think you're overvaluing undisputed without context you know you're not adding context to undisputed i think you're not factoring in that canelo had one of the weakest undisputed runs out of any uh fighter that had what that was undisputed in the four belt era so like when you add a context to it it's nothing that impressive you know like canelo can still be a cherry picker with that undisputed run Give me a oh, second. I'm gonna, me. I'm gonna, uh, no, I got. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get, I'm gonna let you answer that. And I'm watch. Watch. I, go ahead. I'm just <laughs> letting you. Yeah. I, no, I agree. I agree to it. To a, to a, I agree for the most part. 
also got cut with Flambeautiful. Okay, all right, bro. Here we go. Here we go, bro. Yeah, I know. No, don't worry about it, bro. Don't don't worry about it. Let me let me let me first. Let me start by saying this, Port. Port, you're always welcome here. By the way, brother, you're always welcome here. Uh, let's not forget that yesterday you was just on this panel talking about your definition of dangerous of a fighter, right? I say Pitbull is dangerous to everybody at 140, right? And you said Devin Haney's dangerous. Isn't that what you said? I'm just, there's a reason why I'm asking you this. Isn't that what you said? Yeah, yeah I think Devin's more dangerous than, than Pitbull. No, 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 no. You said Devin's dangerous. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, Devin... he's dangerous. yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I would say Devin's dangerous. dangerous. Is Shakur Stevenson yeah. dangerous? Yeah, but not to the extent of Devin. Okay, so you see how automatically, and the first thing that we said to you yesterday, exactly, 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 listen, because you know what he's going to say, and this is why I broke it down yesterday, and he said, no, it's my definition, it's my definition of dangerous, and I said, bro, do you understand that if you took 100 people, if you took 100 boxing fans, and you said, is this guy dangerous, is this guy dangerous, is this guy dangerous, right, uh, uh, they're gonna, they're gonna. They're, what do you think they're gonna say? And you I say, well, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, and I don't care what they're gonna say because my definition is that he's dangerous because he's avoided. So the reason why but, I'm asking you this, hold on, uh, let, let 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 me go, bro, because I don't want to start doing what I do to HLD. Like I let everybody talk, bro. You saw how I sat back. I let you talk for like a fucking couple right, minutes, bro. right? That's what you're gonna let me do. I allow you to talk here, bro. All right. So. I asked you, I asked you how you view the word dangerous. And the reason why I asked you that is because I'm trying to understand how you look at things, bro. If you take 100 boxing fans and you say, is Devin Haney dangerous? What do you think most of them are going to say? Now, that's a question I'm asking you. Yeah, I think in the the fuck? Well, hold up. What the hell? Hold up. Man, y'all yeah, won't believe this, man. I'm in the parking lot. Somebody crashed into me. Hold up. Let me show y'all this. Somebody just crashed into you? Yeah, I'm in the parking lot right now. What the fuck? Not, hey, hold up, hold up. You're not going to show a dick on the screen, are you? No, man. What the, my camera don't work. Hold up. The last person I did this, he showed a... a I don't know why. Y'all put dicks on the screen. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. Someone did that was last time I was live. He said he just got into a car accident. Okay. Um, hold on. I'm gonna drop the link for this guy to come back on. And you, you know, I can answer it too while while you're on here. Um, the reason why I went at him like that, by the way. I usually don't go at people, but it's the reason why I, I'm going at him like that is because he's coming in here speaking fucking confident as hell. When 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 I know for a fact he interprets certain words way differently than how we interpret it. I can't take you that serious when you're saying Devin Haney is a dangerous fighter. That that doesn't even make any sense, bro. That doesn't even fucking make any sense, bro. And, and I'm supposed to take him seriously. Then he's going to come up here and say Canelo, a dude that held boxing down in 2021 when boxing was stagnant. And yeah, and this is what I don't understand. Y'all say, y'all say that, look, look, let me get this straight. How the fuck is this man cherry picking three? And I'm asking you this too, boxing historian. How the fuck is this man cherry picking undefeated champions, bro? Undefeated champions. And you know what most of y'all say? Most of y'all say because they white and they from the UK. What kind of shit is that, bro? And you know you one of them. You know you I, one of them, bro. I never, you said, one of them. I never said that. Okay, so, so how the fuck? Look, how do you how do you cherry pick a champion, bro? Three of them, not one, not one. I could understand. I could understand if the champion got the belt somehow. I don't know by default or some shit like that. Some some cha a champion went in recess. He fought some other guy and got the belt. Bh, we talking three undefeated champions in their prime. One of them, I believe, won the Super Six Series tournament. Well, Callum Smith ain't shit, man. That's one thing. Um, this is what, this is okay, okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Billy Joe, Billy Joe's he was a solid fighter. He just he just quit, you know. Uh, Caleb Plant has no stamina, there's no cardio. Right. Uh, 
This is this is what's wrong with listen, everybody. This is what's wrong with boxing, bro. This is what's wrong with boxing, bro. You got a man, you got a hey, 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 you know you're always welcome here. You know you oh, I'm not I'm not getting on and look, and I'm not challenging your expertise because I know personally you have expertise in boxing. I just think you hate on Canelo, bro. I really do. I really think you hate on Canelo, bro, because there's no fucking way you're telling me this man go. He went from 175. He beat a champion at 175. He moved down. He beat another undefeated champion. Took took a fight off. Went and fought a mandatory. Then went back, beat another undefeated ch champion, and then fought a the third one. And then after that, he went back up to 175 and fought that champion in law, bro. He. This guy, if you pull back 12 fights, this is what I don't understand. If you count, you go back 12, 13 fights, he's fought at least nine current champions, bro. Who the fuck else does that? And y'all got the nerve to say this man, Cherry. I don't understand y'all. Listen, you want to say that he 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 doesn't want to fight David? Fine. Fine. I I I'll go with you there, bro. I'll go with you there. He doesn't want to fight David. He doesn't. I've talked about this a million times. He, he doesn't want to fight David. As of right now, I don't think he wants to fight David. But I do know that if you take BH, if you go back 13 fights, we could do it right here. We could do it. Let me go through this first, and then I'm going to let you answer. I want you to understand. And I already know you know this, but I need to show it to you. I need to show it to you because I don't understand where the hate comes from Canelo, bro. And by the way, Canelo isn't even. I'm not even a huge Canelo fan, bro. I'm not. I'm not a huge Canelo fan. But one thing I'm not going to do is disrespect a man that's fighting fucking champions almost 80% of the time, bro. So you go back to this guy's resume. Right here. I see you in the background. I think that's LT, right? Let me, let, 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 let me just make sure. Let me make sure. Let me block the screen real quick because I'm trying to answer this and then I'll be done. Hold on. I'll let, I'll let y'all cook. Let me, let me just make sure. Is this you, LT? Yes, sir. Lieutenant okay, Dan. Okay. I just wanted go to make ahead, sure. Ahead, brother. Brother. All right. Yeah. Just let me finish this and then you can say what then you can go on LT. Okay. Um, bro, this dude, look at this, bro. Let, let's count back these fights right here. One, two. <laughs> oh my. I, I laugh every time I do this, bro. I laugh. I fucking laugh. This is crazy. Let's count back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Let's stop right at Triple G. Let's stop right there. We could throw in say Cesar Chavez. I could say that was, I, I don't, it is what it is. He fought Triple G twice, right? Yes, he fought Rocky Fielding, right? Not, like, 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 let's not act like every fighter fights undefeated champions all the time. Yes, he fought Rocky Field. Then he fought Daniel Jacobs. Then he fought Sergey Kavalev. Then, right, he moved up at 175. He beat. Sergey Kovalev, right? We got it out. You know what they say to that? Oh, he was the weakest champion, right? So now we're just disrespecting fucking champions left and right, right? He beats this champion. He moves down to 168, right? He fights Callum Smith, who won the tournament right here. Look at this. It literally says he won the, he, the WBA Super World Super uh, uh, Tournament and W and WBC World Vacant. Okay, so he had the vacant, but he also won the tournament, right? So he beats Callum Smith. Then he takes his mandatory Yildirim, which a lot of people got a problem with that. But if he didn't fight his mandatory, y'all going to say he ducking mandatories. So he fights his mandatory. Then he comes back and he fights undefeated Billy Joe Saunders. Then he then after that, he, he eliminates the last champion, the last standing champion in that weight class, undefeated Caleb Plant, which a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all had Caleb Plant beating Canelo. I remember, I remember right now, I tell Caleb Plant might as well be black. He might as well be black the way that he fight. So after he beats and knocks him, after he knocks him the fuck out, then he moves up to 175 and fights Bivol and loses. Then after losing, he moves back down and fights uh, Triple G for a third time. Then I believe he went and had surgery. He comes back on surgery and he fights John Ryder, who's really not a really easy fight for anybody. You could say you could say all right he's not a champion or whatever but he he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a rugged fighter bro. Then he's supposed to fight Jamal Charlo and Jamal is not ready and we know what happened with Jamal but he's still an undisputed 154 champion. And now he's fighting Jaime Munguia, another 
undefeated fighter that's a champion. What the fuck are y'all talking about, bro? What are y'all talking about? Why do we have to go through this when it comes to Canelo? Why? Go ahead, LT. What's up, bro? Nah, man. Uh, I'm 100% with you, bro. I think BH is just a hater. <laughs> Fucking play with it. Fucking play with it, man. Uh, I, I don't hey, know what, what hey, BH said, bro. I don't know what BH oh, by said. The way, right, hey, by no. the way, I'm by, I'm, I'm, I just want to say this. I'm about to fly by this gym that Ryle uh, is a rayo? Oh, yeah, uh, 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 a rayo? Okay. Um, no, so, yeah. so, so, so what happened, LT, right, was uh, the guy Port yesterday, if you remember, Port was up here. He yeah. was the one, he was the one that was saying Pitbull basically ain't dangerous for anybody and talking all that shit, right? He uh -huh. comes back up here. This is the same guy that said Devin Haney's dangerous, right? <laughs> and and he, so he comes back up here and he says to me, hey, do you think Canelo had one of the hardest runs at Undisputed, right? And I said, well, what, okay, well, you're answering the question your, your, yourself. He beat every champion one by one. And uh -huh. then, then, he, then he says, no, he's actually got the weakest, one of the weakest runs at Undisputed, which makes absolutely no sense, by the way. And then BH goes, I agree. Uh-huh. And wow. I don't understand how, how you could beat undefeated champions Look, look, they literally, he, he, he said it. What did you uh -huh. say? He's a what? Uh, a BH? You called him a cherry picker his whole career? Canelo? Oh, I, mean, he, I mean, he's a cherry picker, you know, for a certain part of his career, yeah. Uh, bro, he didn't cherry, ah, uh, bro, come on. So he didn't cherry pick Lara. That's a given. No one cherry picks Lara. No one cherry picks uh, Mayweather. Uh, in fact, to this day, bro, no one wants to fight Lara, bro. So that's a great cherry pick for Canelo. Uh, <laughs> no one cherry picks Bivol, bro. <laughs> no, no one cherry picks Bivol. No one cherry picks Golovkin, bro, either. Oh, no here, one cherry picks. Here, 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 oh, I'm sorry. Here goes Golovkin. Ah, bro, listen, bro. Golovkin was already, ah, bro, like. 50 year old bro, he could be 68, bro. Didn't he just move to fucking Japan and like beheaded a fucker? Who gives a fuck, dude? That's not the point. Whether that's not the point, bro. The point is you don't you don't you don't cherry pick those fighters, dude. Um so who was another one? Uh Plant wasn't a cherry pick either. Um I mean, I can say a lot of these fighters weren't cherry picks, dude. Uh, I could say, uh, <clears throat> it's because I saw Rocky Fielding. That's one of them. That's a cherry pick. And the other fucker forgot his fucking name. Uh, Beefy. I think that was another cherry pick. Like I could, I can name you Canelo's cherry picks. Like, um, like uh what's this uh amir khan that's a fucking cherry pick um i guess i can name you several cherry picks that i can say yeah man those those are straight cherry picks um if canelo would have fought andre that was a nice cherry pick too bro would have been a nice cherry pick to his fucking oh, resume yeah he, he didn't want nothing to do with no yeah, if, Can if canelo would have and you know what would have been like it's it's still possible, bro. But for Canelo, the best cherry pick he can make at, at at this point right now would be would be uh fucking Bud Crawford. That would be a great fucking cherry pick and uh Errol Spence. But any fucker from the top, every uh, any fucker, bro, from the top uh 180, I mean 168. I don't think it's it's no cherry pick. Um. Nah, man. Uh, maybe I'll call Berlanga a cherry pick, bro. Um, um, Devin Haney is dangerous to who? I don't think that's dangerous. I don't think that's that's what you call a dangerous fighter. I think that's just like a, a negative style where it's not dangerous. Isaac Cruz is dangerous because his like he has that power to like quit quit your shit like and drop you that's a dangerous that's what we fighter were saying, right yeah. LT, this is what i'm saying right. this is why this is why i said to him i said bro 
you're going to sit here and tell me that this man has one of the most weakest runs at 168, yet you're saying Devin Haney is a dangerous fighter. Bro, you're, you can't even get definitions correct. Like, dangerous fighter is a person that if you're if you're up seven, eight rounds, he could catch you with a punch and turn the whole fight around or knock yep. you out or turn your lights out. That's a dangerous fighter. Not That's a person a that pity, fight. not a person that pity pats and plays tag your it and beats you out yep. of scorecards. That's a technical fighter. That's yep. a technical fighter. There's technical, dangerous, like he so he doesn't even this is what I don't understand. I don't care if you don't like Canelo. That's not the issue. The issue isn't whether you like Canelo or not. I don't really care about that. I know plenty of people that don't like Canelo. I know plenty of people that just don't, they don't like the way his style is or they don't like whatever it is. What I don't understand is why people shit on this man's accomplishments, bro. But yet you can't find another fighter doing similar shit other than right now, if you want to go down to the uh, lower weight classes and you want to mention in a way, you could maybe do that. But yeah. I don't understand how you could hate on a man, right? But yet you can't point me to another man doing the shit that he's doing. That that blow that that literally that's my mind boggled, bro. Like mm -hmm. it's mind boggling. And so the only conclusion I could come to is you just don't like the man, bro. You just yeah. don't like the man for whatever reason. Uh, I can name several. Like okay, Inoue, uh, I, I Uzik is another Uzik. Right, Shadow Uzik's doing it like that as well. Yeah, yeah, Uzik. Uzik, yeah, Uzik in a way. Um, I think the uh, Bevald is about to enter that realm where he's testing himself against better BF. Uh, I think that's about it, dude. Uh, so, bro, because if you call Canelo a cherry pick, then Telfimo cherry picked an old fighter that was done at that weight class twice. Hey, Shadow. Yo, let, yeah. me, po, po, let me finish, Port, please, real quick, Carnal, please. Yeah, go, go, go. You good, so, you good. so Teofimo caught two old, two old men, and Lomachenko and uh, and Josh Taylor. Devin Haney did the same thing with an old man, uh, with an old Loma, which I still think he lost, and an old fucking Regis Prograce that were done right. Um, you want uh, Tank Davis still doing that gay shit? Um, Shakur Stevenson, bro. Um, not like another f fighting midgets, and then when he fights a dude at his own size with respectable power and speed, he fights like a bitch. Like, like I don't, I don't, I don't get it, bro. Like, I just don't get it. I don't go in, go in, poor, go in. No, I'm good, dude. I was in. In the fucking parking lot, some fucking car backed into me. What the hell? What happened? Did he did he just drive off? No, no, no. I, I got him. I stayed in contact info, but I was like in the parking lot. Okay, uh, before before we get back into it, man. Look, I want to make it clear, Port. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like you're welcome here, bro. You're welcome here. I yeah, just my gotta, bad. yeah, I just had to get off for a bit. Um, no, 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 you good. No, you good. Anyways, I'm talking about I'm talking about before the way the way that I was talking to you. I, I, I appreciate everyone that 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 comes here. It's just some sometimes I, and first of all, let me make it clear. I don't care whether a person likes a fighter or not. What where I start getting confused at is where people start shitting on a motherfucker that's done yeah accomplishments. I don't get that. Like where how because you, if you're gonna say that he's had uh, 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 all this is easy. Then, then point to another person who did. Then who did have, who did have that run at undisputed? Then no, I, I just wanted to say, uh, no, I want to go back to that conversation we're having about pitbull and dangerous, whatever. But to answer your question about that, mm. well, no, my so look, my counter to that, all I said was that Canelo being undisputed, it doesn't mean much when you like put context into it and you kind of break it down and you say hey this guy had probably one of the weakest runs to undisputed out of any other fighter that went undisputed in the four belt era you know i could say Usyk had a tougher run taylor had a tougher run um haney probably did too because he fought loma who was like much better than anybody that was in canelo's way um crawford it's debatable but and i think jamel even had a tougher case too because castano was better than anybody at 168 that canelo fought skillfully so i just like when you have context too, I, get, I agree with the Jamel. I, I just don't think Jamel. it was that um, valuable what Canelo did at 168. Uh, it's not. 
<clears throat> valuable. Go ahead, LT. They, they were yeah, under. Bro. They were. They were, uh, they were in their prime. LT, go ahead, bro. Hey, bro. Uh, <coughs> listen up. Um. Okay. So talking about Devin Haney, he just beat Combosos. That's it, bro. Um. Who else with uh Castaño? Uh, what was the dude Banana or whatever the fuck is wood Banana Rosario or some shit like that? That dude looked like a fucking fake fucking KO dude. Like the dude tapped him in the belly. He goes out, ugh, starts convulsing, and then he fights Castaño. To me, that dude fucking lost that fight. He lost it, right? So they gave him. So to me, he lost it, but okay, he won supposedly, right? Let's go, Uzik. I agree with you. Uzik was. A nice run to undisputed, uh, and in a way, I don't, I don't like Crawford, Crawford as well, bro. Like the dude is fucking huge. The dude is like about Canelo size or even taller. <clears throat> Has a longer reach, and that dude was at what weight class? Fighting for undisputed. That's uh, okay. I don't. I don't know what to say about shit. <clears throat> Canelo fighting Billy Joe Saunders. Um, who beats Billy Joe Saunders? At 168. At that time. Who beats him? Berlanga? Nobody, dude. At that time, who beats Billy Joe Saunders? Can name you like two Benavides and what plant, I guess. Okay. Right? Hey, these, these are uh these are red herrings that uh that uh El Okay. Fuck it, dude. I hate talking about this shit. Anyways, breads, whatever. We just run on this beauty. Who gives a fuck? Like we we don't I don't give a fuck, dude. <laughs> Who gives a fuck, bruh? He's a real champion in that weight class. That's a fact. He's the only champion. I, I just, I'm, I'm trying to, uh, like, uh, uh, so I, I'm just, right. uh, no, no, yeah, y'all can talk about whatever you want. I, I just want to say this, bro. Listen, if you don't like Canelo, that, that, that's fine. It's just, it's just weird to me, like, because, like, when you look at most of the people that, 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 that say this about Canelo, right? If, if you keep talking to them, right? Five minutes from now, five minutes from now, they're gonna bring up another person that that they that they think is that right. And when you go look at that person's resume and you compare it to, it's just it's fucking laughable. It's just laughable because it's like if 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 he's a fraud and he's a cherry picker, then the whole sport looks bad, bro. <laughs> it does. The whole sport yeah. looks bad. You know what I mean? It's like it's it's like because. You go back. Their 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 issue is is that he's fighting champions. Like right now, I understand the criticism where people say, "Okay, well, look, Jaime's at one sixty. Jermel was at one fifty four. Uh, 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 you know, he or he fought this guy or whatever. But they, but they, but they seem to like not include the fact that he's been bouncing up and down from weight like it's nothing, bro. One seventy five, one sixty eight. Then he then he went then he went. And, and go for triple G a third time when he really didn't have to. And the fact, and, and, and not only that, but just the accomplishments and no, I just feel like we, I just feel like the community shits on accomplishments too much. That's all. That's all I'm saying. I feel like, I feel like people, every time a champion beats somebody or somebody beats somebody, people, people say, Oh, well, who the fuck did he fight? You know, and who the fuck is this guy? And this guy's trash. And it's well, and then and, but then they're saying that about the guy that they like. So it's like take Davis fans, they'll be like, This guy's a bum, this guy's a bum, this guy's a bum. And I'm like, So what the fuck are you saying? Tank Davis fights nothing but bums? Like, what are you saying? Like, they just shit on everyone's accomplishments. And then I'm like, okay, well, then whose accomplishments do you respect? Then I don't get it. Because you could say the same for Crawford if you want to say. If you want to say the 168 was a weak division with champions, so you're telling me the champion, I respect Crawford's uh, run at 140. I do. I do. I you, I know people, I've heard, I've heard people say, well, who the fuck is in Dongo? Who the fuck, you see what I'm saying? I, I, I literally, I'm like, no, bro. He still was undisputed. He still went through the division. 
That's an accomplishment, bro. He moved up. Earl had those belts that was unified at 147. And Crawford had the, the, the one left over. And he beat the guy the beat that beat all the other motherfuckers over at one at 147. So yeah, you gotta give him you gotta give him respect for that, bro. That's that's fucking and not only did he beat him, not only did he beat him, he fucking took years off that man's life, in my opinion, bro. He beat him from pillar to post, bro. Easy. And every easy, person bro. Fought, he, every person Crawford's fault, he's knocked out, he's made it look easy. That comes, you, you know. So anyone that like disrespects his accomplishments, I'm looking at them sideways too. I just feel like that's what this community does. They just I just thought you don't have to like Canelo. I just don't understand how you think this shit he does is easy. Like that, that's mind boggling. Like they just think this shit's easy. I know, bro. I don't know how the fuck they think that shit, bro. But I mean, it looks easy, bro. But I mean, how many that, fighters do that makes point? it look easy? That's what. It yeah, is. that's because they. That's that's the level of the talent, bro. I mean, you're talking about a dude that dedicates himself to that sport 100, percent bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they're they're in it. They live it. Like, they're in the gym constantly. You know that shit, that they live their life like that. They, they live the boxer's life. Oh, here goes. This guy, bro. Hold on. I'm sorry. Hey, bro. I'm I'm going to step step to the side real quick. Hey, Port, if you Go hop off, if, if you hop off, I'm not going to be able to click back yeah, on it. So, I'm back. So, so, anyways, yeah, I had to go off for a couple of minutes there. But um, I just feel like, uh, yeah, so, like, because you're, I guess, well, he's gone, so I can't really retort to that. But. Um, to kind of like say Canelo isn't a cherry picker because his 168 run, because he was undisputed. But like, to me, that I think you need to add context to that undisputed, and like it was one of the weaker undisputed runs out of all the four belt undisputed uh, champions in this era. That is, to me, it does nothing for me. I think Canelo has a track record of like cherry picking. You know, he fought Rocky Fielding. That was like a Coming out, that was an obvious cherry pick. He fought Chavez Jr. That was a cherry pick. Um, Yildrim, you can argue that, but I think it was justified because of the Mando. Uh, he, you know, that was his mandatory. You had the uh, Jamel fight. That was a cherry pick, in my opinion. Um, there's just so much cherry picks that happened in Canelo's career. That I think you, you just have to call him that. And I think this fight right now, it's, it's an obvious cherry pick when he has guys like Benavides. Um, he has other tougher opponents, Morel you know, on the scene and he decides to fight Mungia, the weakest link at 168. Mungia, the weakest link, bro. Mungia. Wait, I gotta get my driver's license. Hold on. He what he he bugging uh, oh he I don't he got some chick with him or something who that does she know boxing put put her on <laughs> see what she she probably she probably she'll, she'll probably come out here and be like Canelo did have the hardest run at undisputed I he know beat, right he beat he beat nothing but undisputed <laughs> champions I fuck this guy I'm just with him because he's giving me a ride yeah bro um I'm gonna be right back I'm gonna go to a restaurant bro I'm gonna go on mute brother did you say restaurant. Oh uh, no, restroom, bro. Oh, I'm gonna mute. If you want to talk about Jaime Munguia, look, I get it. I get it. Well, Jaime Munguia, I can understand, bro. But still, this is what I'm saying. This is this is this is what I'm saying, bro. This is what I'm saying. Just just hear me out. Even when you go at the guy's resume and you take out the fighters that we call the ones where they get really mad, like like a Rocky Fielding, right, or like a. Uh, a John Ryder or Yildrum, right? Even when you take that out, those guys still are like 80% better than people that are that are on fucking David Benavidez's resume. I'm talking about as a whole. As a whole. 
Boo Boo's resume. Jaime's resume. I'm not even going to mention Berlanga. I, I I just I just think I just think a lot of it is just it's just it's it's personal because I just don't understand. Like, I mean, if that's the case, bro, who gives a fuck? Why why fight champions anymore? Who cares? Like, what is the point of fighting a champion? I just like uh, yeah, like like I said, like there's been multiple cases of Canelo cherry picking. You know, I brought up several examples. You know, uh, Chavez Jr. Rocky Fielding. Um, this recent one with Jamel, you know, you're fighting, you bring up a guy two weight classes below, you're bringing him up when you have he didn't even want, Benavides. but he didn't, he didn't want that fight. He but, didn't but, want that fight. But you have Benavides on the horizon. You have Benavides on the, on the horizon I, right Benavides, now. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give you the, listen, I started off by saying when it comes to Benavides, listen, when it comes to Benavides, you don't even have to go there because I agree. So let's take Benavides out the side. Let's take him out. The, let's take him out because that's really what people mostly go back to. When yeah. it comes to Canelo, when it comes to Canelo and the hate that he gets, they keep going back to that. They keep going back to well, that. Well, because so it's very apparent. That. Well, okay, it, it is apparent. I've said it. He doesn't want to fight him. So let's take that out. So now, what do we have left now? So let's go. What 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 has he done that was so? Because I'm trying to I'm trying to see now. Because he has a he has a track record. I don't know if y'all mm-hmm. can hear me, but he has a track record of uh, dunking fighters all the way to the triple G. I remember he was stalling on that triple G fight. He would had. The Chavez fight, he had the Khan fight, near Khan fight. It's a lot of buffoonery that Canelo's had in his career. And it's just, you know, like if you have several examples of cherry picking in your career, you're a cherry picker, no matter if you, you're undisputed or not. He is a cherry picker. And right now, his past three fights, he fought Ryder, he fought Jamel. I mean, he fought a 41 year old Triple G. This guy has three straight fights of like not formidable opponents at all right like you're having these fights you, you, just, have literally, on you fight. just literally you fucking literally just say, this is what i'm saying about but you yeah port. but like hold you have port, hold on, on port, the horizon hold on, hold on, and, port, and you're port, fighting port. these i gotta mute you port because if i don't mute you you're not gonna understand the silliness that's coming out of your ears you literally just gave me Jermel Charlo as an example of having one of the most best undisputed runs now he's not a formidable opponent no, because weight classes exist for a oh, reason. Okay, so, was, so, so is he a formidable a fighter or not? No, in the context of 168, he is not because Canelo brought him up two weight classes. And from 154 to 168, that's a huge difference. Like, and that's like, it's not a fair fight. Like, he's not used to 168 at all. It was, it was an easy fight for Canelo Alvarez. Like, yeah, like in the context of 154, what Jamel did was and I got to I got to make sure but, I understand your context because I know I know your I know your definitions are all over the fucking place. No, but that's what it is. Come on, we all know it's a cherry pick. When Canelo fought Jamel, it was it was a cherry pick. That's like very obvious. Like we're gonna sit here and act like it wasn't a, a cherry pick. How 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 did he go about fighting Jamel? Let me let me test your knowledge real quick. How did that fight come about? Well, he initially wanted to fight Jamal. As far as mm-hmm. what I'm know or understand, and then Jamal didn't want to fight, so he fought Jamal. But if I'm Canelo, why are you even trying to fight Jamal or Jamal? Jamal at the time, he didn't fight in fucking I don't know how long. I think he uh during that time he didn't fight in fucking two years, three years. You know, so like he was in a fight a guy that was inactive in Jamal in the first place, you know? Because to that point, he didn't fight in fucking two years. When 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 that fight was about to get signed, he was inactive. So that's and also like this is the thing with Canelo Alvarez is not only that he cherry picks guys that you know a Khan and Jamel smaller guys, but also like these contract stipulations he has when he fought. Well, why, why do you keep bringing up Khan? That was like how many years ago was this? How many years ago was Khan? But still, like he's a cherry picker. He has several examples of cherry picking. Like I could bring up several uh, examples, and just because he beat. Just because he went on a three uh, 2016. Fight run 2000, so we're Matt, almost talking, we're almost going on nine years now. Go ahead, bro. Go he ahead. Fought I'm listening. Smith. Well, I could bring you well, I can tell you Ryder. That's a cherry pick right there. I can tell you Jamel. That happened not even a year ago. That's a cherry pick right there. Jamel, come on, really bringing up a guy two weight classes below you and trying to uh, uh con the public like that's a legitimate fight. That fight was total bullshit, and, and you've seen it. I mean that. I mean that. That was a one-sided fight. That fight shouldn't have happened. 
that was a joke because you have Benavides, you have guys like Morel on the horizon and you choose to fight a 154 pounder. He could be undisputed at 54 all he wants. It's still a huge weight difference from 54 to 68. He's not used to fighting at 68. I know, Sergeant. I know, Sergeant. I'm, le I'm letting him talk. I'm, letting, I'm just letting him talk. I'm just letting him talk. Go ahead, bro. No, it's just to me, mm -hmm. again, that's like cherry picking like fighting weaker opponents when you have better fighters in the horizon. He's Let me done ask it. you a question. If you're a champion, right, do you think you should... No, you you want to... hold, on, hold on. Let me ask you a question. If, if, if you're a champion, do you think you should honor your obligations? Yes or no? Oh, now, now we got Wi-Fi issues? Yeah, what's up? My bad. Yeah, I didn't hear you. I, I cut off for okay. about five yeah. seconds. Okay. If, if 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 you're a champion and you fought for the belt and you got the belt, do you agree that as a champion you should honor your obligations? In what context? Because you're because you're, you're you're giving me a very vague question with no. I'm, I'm, I'm getting in there. It. I'm getting. I'm getting there. I'm I'm getting there. I'm getting there. You know, mandatories or trying to unify or going undisputed. So yeah, I feel like you should honor that. You yeah. should, right? So, 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 so you feel like if you're, because I'm just saying, let's say I'm a champion and you knock me out and you take my belt, right? Port, you're now the champion, right? You got mandatories and you got people that are lining up, rising up the ranks to fight you. Should should you fight those guys? Should you fight your mandatories? Yes, but I think you should also fight the fat. Uh, you should also fight the fight at the fat. Just, it was just a yes or no question. It was, yeah, it was yeah, you should, you should, but also you should also. Fight the fight that the fans want. And if you go around boxing, you know that the fans have been telling Canelo. We've already we said, we already, I've already said, listen, I've already said, I agree with you with Benavides. So you don't have to keep going back there. I'm just, we're talking, we're, I'm trying to take one thing at a time with you because you're all over the fucking place. You're all, first, first you're telling me Devin Haney's dangerous and then you're, I'm, I'm confused, bro. I'm trying to Devin, understand. Devin is dangerous. You're telling me, you're telling me that, that Canelo's mandatories or fucking cherry picks, but yet if he doesn't fight a mandatory, he's not obligated. I don't. His, he's not doing his obligations, and so so. And then if he doesn't fight his mandatory, you're not gonna say he's not funny. He's fucking mandatory. It's like I'm trying to understand where you're coming because from. Because so. you're not putting it in, in context. I feel like the mandatory argument, even there, is kind of flawed. Because I mean, you'd have to be a fool to not think that the Alvarez has. Mauricio Suleiman on their payroll, and they kind of, you know. So now they, we're like, questioning. Now choose. we're questioning who's the who. Now we're questioning. Well, I question, who's the mandatory. I question everything about Canelo's career. I question the legitimacy of everything about his career, all the way down from the judges, all the way down from the contract stipulations, all the way to if the fights are genuine fights. I mean, they, I mean, there's a lot of questionable um, aspects to Canelo's career that you have to factor in. I mean, he has one of the most odd careers I've ever seen. You know, watching boxing. Um, it's, it's just to me, it, it, it's a joke, but to answer your question, um, about the mandatories, uh, of course you want to fight your mandatories, right. but when no. you have can, the Alvarez's, they have the Suleiman on pay, they have them on his payroll, man. They can choose what mandatories oh, you want. see, y'all, 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 hear this, right? Hey, 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 y'all hear this, right? Y'all hear this. I asked him, I asked him, Hey, yo, should you honor your mandatories, right? And he says yes, but then goes on to say that everything, everything is a fucking conspiracy now, and that fucking the mandatories are right, right? So it, it is. So this is what I mean, y'all. Remember when I did a live and I said when it comes to him and the people that do this, he's damned if he do, he's damned if he don't. He's damned if he do, he's damned if he don't. If he doesn't fight the mandatories, they're going to say just, he's not fighting his mandatories. If he does fight the mandatories, they're going to come up with something else. They're going to say, but well, look, I, I, now I don't trust this guy, and he, I don't trust Mauricio Suleiman and how, he, and how he became a mandatory. He's damned if he do, he's damned if he don't. It doesn't fucking matter. But yet, you'll sit there and tell me Devin Haney's a dangerous opponent. I don't get you, bro. Well, Devin Haney, so let's go to Devin, so let's go to Devin Haney. Devin Haney is a dangerous opponent because he is avoided and he is dangerous in the aspect where he will be he will be any no. guy at 140. He could be anybody at 140. Like Who's he, has he a very avoided? Who's he avo Port, 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 port. Slow down. Who's he avoided by? Realistic chance of beating anybody at 140. No, 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 Pitbull no, no, no. no. Let, let, me go, let me go back, port, port. Who's he? Who's avoiding Devin Haney? 
uh, Shakur. That's, That's a one example. Bullshit lie. Devin Haney. Devin Haney avoided. Uh, no, no, I might. Uh, Tank avoided Devin Haney too. You, you know, you that's another well, example. Uh, Tank, but didn't you just say yesterday? What did you say about Tank yesterday? But I, I don't know. You tell me. I don't know what I said. I mean, you it said was a long Tank, conversation. You, you said you have no respect for Tank. He's he's one of the most overrated fighters ever. So why the fuck do we care if he fucking ducks Devin? Hey, I'm just giving and, an example. And, and, you, and you Shakur told me did not. Shakur you told did me. not. Shakur did not duck Devin because Bill went on the boxing voice and Nestor Gibbs was even upset with Bill because he caught him in a fucking lie. And we did a whole live on that where basically Bill is caught in a lie. He's caught in a lie lying about sending Shakur a contract. And, and, and Nestor Gibbs is like, so you're telling me, and Nestor Gibbs got mad. Why did he get mad? Because Nestor Gibbs spent two months capping for Devin Haney. And, he would, and you can see the disappointment in his face because he's like, Bill, you're, that's even worse, Bill. That, so you're telling me you never sent the man a contract. Not only that, I did another live where Bill is on camera, right, being recorded by somebody and admitting that Shakur beat Devin's ass every fucking day. And that if Devin got off a couple of shots, that was a good day. And then on top of that, he said, that's why I tell him if, if we're ready to go to 140, we're ready to go to 140 if shit get too hot. Meaning if Shakur is on that ass, pause. All this shit is on tape and everything. So that is a fucking narrative. And if you go to Tio Ductum, that's a narrative too. Because Bob Arum had a fucking meeting set up where Bill and Devin were supposed to go to and they never showed up. So the narrative like Devin's avoided, it, the only one you could say is Tank, but that doesn't even make any sense because you told me out your own mouth that Tank is fucking overrated. So why the fuck would we care that he's ducking him? He's an overrated fighter. Because, because you asked me to name fighters that are avoiding hate, and I gave you. Okay, so so not, far you've named me one. Whether tank. or not if I rate Tank, whether or not I, I rate Tank or not, he is okay. a big name in the Fine, sport, we got Tank. He's who avoiding else? So we got Tank. Who else? Means who else? else? And then, who else? Well, Shakur. Well, Shakur too. Shakur, that that's was, no. Your, your, no. Your no. argument was very weak. No, your argument was weak because Shakur did turn down a fight. Shakur turned down that fight. You can oh say, you God, can come bro. out here and say Bill yeah. Haney faked the, con uh, fake the contract. I don't believe that one second. I think bro. taking Bill Haney's word is complete horseshit. You got to take Devin Haney's team. He is not Devin Haney's team. He's just his bro, dad. Bro, do you hear this? I think... Yeah. It, We're not taking no, Devin's father right when it comes to Devin. There's, there's wait, there's so, so wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. So if Devin, if Bill comes out of his, oh, let me get this straight. I want to understand. I want to make sure I get this straight. So when Bill comes out of his own mouth in regards to his own son getting his ass kicked and not sending a contract to Shakur and literally he's uh, literally all this shit. I'm telling you, we've done done lives on it, bro. We don't, I know, I know you just got here late port. I know you got here late. This shit, ha we have covered this shit on this channel extensively, bro. Extensively. Which is why I'm fucking laughing at you, bro. I'm fucking laughing at you, bro. We've, no, I, yo, I've literally covered these things extensively in three hour lives. Go ahead. I mean, it's just the, the factual evidence. I mean, you can have your biases here and there and whatever narrative you want to have. The That's factual evidence. Nothing to do with my bias. The court we turned showed down the evidence. The court we, turned we, down we, a we, we showed show the, the evidence. evidence. Show, show me the evidence. I, again, oh I don't goodness, know. I, I wasn't bro. here. I wanted. I mean, you're saying you have evidence, but you're, you're not going to show it. Okay. You're not going to provide that evidence. Because you want me to proof. now, you want me to go back in my, are you going to stay on here while I find it, bro? Because it's going to take a second. You want sure. me to go back to my lives now. Okay. Sure. But also, um, so I want to talk about, I think my definition of uh, dangerous is probably more valid than your definition because your whole argument to why Pitbull is dangerous is essentially a lucky punch or a knockout punch, right? That's your whole, like, that's your whole argument for him being a dangerous fighter is he can knock out anybody. Well, in that case, anybody's dangerous. And if, that, and if anybody's dangerous, then why even use the word, like the definition of the word dangerous, the value of dangerous has no value to more. Because not everybody can not, anybody could be not, dangerous. not everybody, not everybody has that type of punch, punching power to turn around a fight but, like that. Devin don't, got do. it. don't got it. Devin, Devin don't got it. Shakur don't got it. But Chris power, Cobra don't got it. But the power Caleb that... Caleb Plant got, got that one knockout. Wait, other, other than that, when you look at his whole... Whole career, we know he's not a knockout puncher. You know, see, this is what I mean by the definition, bro. So when you say Devin, Devin is an avoided fighter, that's not even accurate, though. 
This is what I'm saying. So I think it is. Even, yeah, I think it's, it's more avoided accurate. than uh, it's pimples. not accurate, yeah, bro. It's not accurate. Yeah. It's very accurate. He's a, he is avoided more avoided than Pitbull. And you want to talk about Pitbull doesn't have much power at 140 either. I, I mean, said, you're not going to roll it. was avoided. Right. First of all, I never said Pitbull was avoided. So, but see, and but and, but that's to me, that's what dangerous is is you're avoided and you have a realistic chance of beating anybody at that weight division. Pitbull does not have a this realistic is what I'm chance. Saying. Of OG, beating OG, anybody. it's getting pointless because what he's it makes no sense, bro. Because Devin's not avoided. Sense. Devin's not avoided by Shakur. Devin. He wasn't avoided by T.O., bro. He wasn't. He wasn't. Only one you could say is Tank. But that doesn't make any sense because you set out your own mouth that you don't even fucking... You said yesterday, you like, Tank is a fucking joke. I'll be the first to admit it. He's so overrated hey, but you and told hype, me, right? Told me but now it's that okay you because you're using him for your argument. But he's the only one that you could honestly... That I can honestly say... I could honestly say... That yeah, maybe you know, maybe yeah, maybe Tank is avoiding. You know, Tank even came out and said he didn't want to fight Loma for five years. So I'll give you, I'll give you, I'll give you Tank. But Shakur and Tio, that's not true. That's not true. Yeah, I think it is. I think with Shakur, he there, there is. I don't give a fuck what you think. Down that fight. I don't give he a listen, listen, bro. Fight. I don't, I don't give a fuck what you think, my guy. You could, you could, you could think that the sky is fucking purple when it's blue. I don't give a fuck. It's blue. I don't care what you think. The truth is, it didn't happen. It did happen. He turned down that it fight. It did not There's happen. There's evidence out there. Where? Okay. So how about this? You, you, you want me to show you something, which I am. I'm still. I'm. 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 I'm gonna get it, and I'm gonna show it to you. Where is this factual evidence? Where is the factual evidence where you know? Oh. Shakur turned down a contract. Where is it? I don't know. Where is it? Because the general, because the general consensus. No, no, no. I'm fine. Where, where is, is it? Because you're telling me about evidence, right. and I'm trying to find out where is it. Where is it? Where do I go? Tell me where to go. I don't need to me myself. I don't need to provide evidence because the general consensus is that Shakur turned okay. down that fight. That's been okay. the general that, consensus. Man, get the fuck out of here, bro. Get out of here. I'm not playing this game with you, bro. I'm not. I'm not playing this game with you, bro. Okay. You're not going to sit here and do these fucking semantics with me, bro. You're not. You're not. You're not going to come up here. You're not going to lie. You're not going to lie. And then fucking change your fucking. First, you're going to say it's a known fact. Then you're going to go back on it and say it's a known consensus. You're not gonna fucking play. You're not gonna play these riddles with me, my 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 guy. If you don't know boxing, get the fuck off the panel, bro. Horrible ass fucking troll, man. But now you know what? I'm gonna start. You know what? I've I've been nice, bro. I've been nice. I'm about to start making qualification. I'm about to make. You know what? I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna start creating a fucking quiz. And I'm going to quiz your dumb ass before you hop on this fucking panel. That's what I need to do, yo. That's what I need. A fucking quiz for some of these dumb motherfuckers, bro. Like, if you don't know boxing, get the fuck off the panel, bro. I'm going to start quizzing you, bro. It's a known fact. Yeah, it's a known fact. Okay, where, where, where's the proof then, buddy? Where, where? It's a known consensus. The known consensus. The fuck are you talking about, bro? Bill is on camera, on camera, saying Shakur beat his son's ass all the time in sparring, bro. If Devin even got off some punches, it was a good day. That's why I tell my son, if it gets too hot, we move into 140. He's on camera. And you know what he says? We can't take Bill's, we can't take Bill's word for it. Yeah. So Bill is just going to make his son look bad for no fucking reason, you dumb fuck. Listen to what you're saying, bro. Yesterday, he goes, Tank, Tank is the one of the most biggest fucking jokes and frauds in boxing. But yet now Tank matters because he's the only one that he could say avoided Devin. Now Tank matters. No, Bill, Bill, Bill never said what? Bill never said, oh, now I got to find it. Oh, man. Oh, we did the whole live on this, bro. We did the whole live on this. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. I want to see. Stay right there. Stay right there, buddy. Stay right there. Hold up. Hold up. Stay right there. (laughs) 
Oh my god, bro. Can you come on the pedal? Because I want to see your face when I show it to you, bro. Hey, hey, hold on. This is for Jerry. This is for Jerry. Hold on. Hold on. This is for Jerry. I want to see your face when I show it to you, bro. This is like this is like proving to you the tooth fairy isn't real. I want to see your fucking face. Or is it the bill conversation? I know I recorded it. I know it's on my live too. You just got to give me a second. Ah, uh, we got it. We got it right here. Oh. Thank you, Fight Hype. God bless you, Fight Hype. Everyone, please subscribe to fighthype.com. Please subscribe to... Oh, man. Hey, 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 Jerry, you ready, Jerry? You ready? You ready, brother? Here we go. This shit is too fucking easy, bro. This is too fucking easy, man. Brother, you get what I'm saying? The first thing that I don't even know how it happened because we was we thought that we was getting points. You get what I mean? Because Core is a Olympian. Core always then got in on Devin. Nigga, were you tripping? Core done got all in. I always got in on Devin. Ninja, is you tripping? Let's play it back. Let's play it back. Jerry, I want to see you. Bro, hop on the fucking panel, bro. Let you, I am. I am, bro. Jerry, hop on the panel, bro. I want to see your face right now, bro. Let's go. Just like you and Port, the other motherfucker that don't know boxing. Bro, I don't fucking, I don't, I don't just say shit because I don't like a fighter or something, bro. I give Devin all the support. You're, you're not going to come up here and fucking lie, bro. You're not. You got nothing to do whether I like Devin or not. Y'all fucking lying. Let's play it again. Brother, you get what I'm saying? The first thing that I don't even know how it happened because we was we thought that we was getting points. You get what I mean? Because Core is a Olympian. Core always then got in on Devin. Nigga, are you tripping? You niggas talking, y'all. Nigga, we the whole shit started because it was live that we're in there with Core. Not Core is getting out on us. Like he's the big nigga. He literally, y'all, no, listen, listen, bro. He literally just said, "Let me play that again, bro. Let me play that again, bro." Where you at, Jerry? Core. Not it started because it was live that we're in there with Core. Not Core is getting out on us. It all started because we're in there live with Shakur getting on us. Not because we getting off on Shakur. Shakur was always, always that. Let, 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 tell us, Bill. Tell us more, Bill. Like, he's the big nigga. He's the oh, big homie. He's the big homie, bro. Shakur the big homie. Shakur the big homie. Do tell, Bill. Do tell. I want to hear more, Bill. Never. We would always, nigga, first, the, the gap was like this. The gap got posted always up. If you got any, if you got off any with Core, it was a plus. If you got off any on Shakur, it was a plus. First, the gap was like this. Then the gap got like this. Then the gap got like this. Don't come up in here and fucking lie, bro. Don't ever come up here and fucking lie, bro. Y'all look fucking stupid, bro. Y'all can do whatever. Listen, y'all can unsubscribe to, to me. Y'all can do whatever the fuck you want, bro. You ain't going to come up here and lie in this channel, bro. You ain't going to lie in this channel. If you just had a good day, that's how it was. All the way up until now, right? That's why I told you, I said, inside the weight classes, when we move, just like niggas is moving now, 
brother, if it's too hot at 30, we already ready to go to 40, bro. Yeah. The only thing if it's too hot at If it's too hot, we ready to go to 40, bro. Bro, he literally just said, basically, you want the translation, Jerry? You want the translation? Shakur on that ass. That's what that means. These motherfuckers, man. And I, I ain't even that. I ain't even that bad. Like, I, I fuck with Shakur. But, like, the shit he did with De Los Santos was on call for. I, I'm, I'm still criticizing him for that. And that's all deserved. This ain't got nothing to do whether I like Devin. This got nothing to do whether I like Bill. And that's where people get me fucked up. That's where people get me fucked up. Y'all think every time I criticize Crawford or I criticize like it's because I hate him. That's not true. That's not what I do, bro. No. I'm pointing out shit that's happening. I think people get it mixed up when there's a fact they take like how how can something that's a fact be hate? How? How could something that literally has happened that you can prove be you hating? That doesn't make any sense, bro. Anyone, anybody else want to challenge me? Get the fuck up here, bro. Now you got me started, bro. Now you got me. Now you got me heated, bro. I was chilling. I was chilling. Now you don't got me heated, bro. You, 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 you question me, bro. Like, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, bro. If I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to say, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't, I don't said this whole week. I don't know who that fighter is. I, I'm very honest, bro. I'm transparent. So look at him moving the goalpost, y'all. Look, look, Jerry moving the goalpost because Jerry came up and said, Jerry started off by saying, look, this is what they do. Look, this is what they do, y'all. I want you to pay attention. This is, this is, this is, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, 101. Y'all paying attention? This is, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, 101. You start off and you tell me, Bill Never said that. You straight lying. Play the interview. So now I played the interview, right? Now I played the interview. Now I played the interview. And now you don't switch in it, right? Not, not, not. So now you want to move on to this now. Okay. You ready for this one, Jerry? You didn't learn from the first time, did you? Jerry, is that you, Port? Is that you, Port? Is that you, Port? Jerry is Port. He is Port, right? Port, get get back up here, Port. I didn't block you. I didn't block you, Port. You don't got to do this, bro. You don't got to make a mockery. Port, I'm going to embarrass you, Port. Just come back up here. Here, let me drop it for you. Just come back on, Port. Or Jerry, just... I'll tell you what, Jerry. I'll tell you what, Jerry. I'll tell you what, Jerry. I won't scream. I'll try to I'll try to be as relaxed as I can. You want to come up on the panel and talk to me? You want to because I really wanted to see your face when I played that interview, but you didn't come up. So now that I'm a now 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 that I'm about to spank that ass on this one, I want to at least hear you. I just want to hear you. And so I want to hear what you're going to say because I want to hear I want to hear the next goalpost you about to lay. 
So let me drop the link for you, bro. And if it's you, Port, just come on up, brother. I I I I I do that on purpose. Uh, yo, I do it on purpose, Larry and and Punchy. Because uh, you know why I dropped the link. You know why I dropped the link. Okay. Let me start by saying this. This is not this is not a stab at y'all that don't come on. This is not a stab at y'all. This isn't. This is when a person comes in typing all types of crazy shit. When why are you wasting all that time when you could just click a link? I know you got a phone, right? What are you typing on? What are you typing on? Are you typing on some sort of electronic device? I'm pretty sure you are. There it's be impossible. What are you typing on? So click the link. And we could talk. Then I could learn more about how you don't know shit. And we can get somewhere. Let me go to my Twitter. I think that's where HOD sent it to me. By the way, before we before be be before we move on to this, Jerry. Before before we move on to this, what do you have? I because I I want to see where your mindset's at. What what do you have to say now that I've shown you the interview where you said I was straight lying? Bill never said that. Like, what do you have to say in regards to that? I, I'm checking where your head's at. I I, I want to see. I want to see. I want to see. You literally said to my face, brother, you you literally said, Bill never said that you straight lying played an interview. And I did. And I did. So now, and then you go too late, bro. You tie me out like a little bitch. So I have no time for you. Oh, this is after you said show the interview. Stop it, Port. Stop it, Port. And if it's not Port, stop it, Jerry. See, why should I continue to spank that ass when you won't even acknowledge you got your ass spanked? What's the point? What is the point of beating you senseless when you won't even fucking admit that you're wrong, bro? It's pointless for me to do it. This is the point I'm trying to show you. It is pointless for me to prove you wrong again because you won't even acknowledge you was wrong the first time. So what, what is my incentive? What is my incentive for spanking that ass again if you won't even admit that you was wrong? What's the point? Too late, bro. You chime me out. Yeah. Take a snapshot of that right there. That's just crazy. I can't believe you never even seen the interview, bro. And this goes to show you, by the way, y'all. This goes to show you that there's a large portion of people on YouTube that aren't privy to facts that are easy to find. Let me give you another fact that's easy to find, okay? The narrative that T.O. ran from Devin is a narrative. It's a narrative. T.O. left the WBC tournament to go the IBF route, fought Nakatani, fought Richard Comey, because he was chasing Lomachenko. Then he gets the belt. 
and a meeting was set by Bob Aram. And out of Bob's Aram own mouth, and it's on there. Yes, you can find it. Let me guess. You're going to want me to find that too, right? They never showed up to the interview. And when they did show up to the interview, Bob says they didn't, they weren't talking about Tia. So how is a man ducking someone when his own promoter set up a time and date for you and your pops to come down to talk about fighting his fighter and you don't show? How the fuck? That, that doesn't make any sense. Did you know that Devin admitted out of his own mouth that T.O. called him? Uh, recently, what was it, a couple months ago? Asking for a fight. And instead of Devin going, you know what? Let's make this happen. What 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 do you need me to do? What 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 did he do? He he goes, Ninja, let me talk to your boss. Like being all disrespectful. You're drunk and shit like that. Another way of just pissing T.O. off. So T.O. be like, you know what? You don't really want to fight. You don't really want to fight. Because why else? If if T.O. called you, right? Wouldn't the first thing you would do is be like, let me ask you this. If if if, if T.O. was ducking him. And Tio called him. Wouldn't the first thing you do is go, oh, shit, Tio is really calling me? He really want that smoke? He been ducking me for years. Hey, Tio, yeah, 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 bro, what you want to do? Like, who, yeah, you, do we call Bob? Like, what do we do? That's not what you do. That's not what you do. Just like you sent Shakur a contract, right? Why would you send someone a contract when you on camera saying that he got off on your son? The gap was like this. The gap was like this. And if he comes to 130, y'all ready to go to 140? Ness is literally interviewing Bill and says, Bill, and I want to find it. And I think it's on my Twitter. I think it's on my Twitter. How do I find when somebody sends me something? I, I don't go on Twitter. My bad, bro. I don't go on Twitter. <laughs> this is funny. Y'all want to see something? Look at this. You want to see something? Look. HLD. Yo, I'm still blocked. My bad, HOD. You're not blocked anymore, but he was at that time. Let me see. Who the fuck is this following me? Who is Charlene Norsworthy? I don't know who you are. These are all fake people. I don't even go on Twitter. Oh, I think I know him. Okay, let me see something. How do I find, could somebody tell me, hey, I'm not privy to X, y'all. How do I find like past shit that people sent me? Because I know HLD sent me, I know he sent it to me. Oh, now you got time for me, Jerry? Everyone, plenty of people know who you in. I don't know who the fuck you are. Hop on the panel, bro. Tell me. Enlighten me. Enlighten me. Bro, Jerry. 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 Maybe since you don't know about boxing, maybe you could answer me this. Why, yeah, why, why are people pussy to click a link? Like, why? What are you scared of, bro? You don't got to show your face if that's what it is. You don't got to show your face. Like, what? why are you scared to click a link and fucking speak, bro? What is wrong with y'all, bro? Are you that pussy? You know what's so crazy? You know what's so ironic about this, Jerry? You know what I look like. What, what do you look like, Jerry? What do you look like, Jerry? Come on. There. You see? Yeah. The only reason why you know what I look like is because I'm 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 not I'm I'm not a bitch. That's that's the only reason why you know why I look like. I came up every day. I don't hide nothing about myself. That's the only reason why you know. 
See, we don't know who the fuck you are. All you got is a purple fucking J in front of your name, pussy. See, there he goes. That's how I know you know me. That's how I know you know me. That's how I know you know me. Bro, I would smack the fuck out your... Bro, you know what, bro? It, it is what it is, bro. I know what you're trying to do. I know what you're trying to do. I know what you're trying to do. I know what you're trying to do, bro. Anyone else want to come up and challenge me, bro? Let me drop this link. Hey, Jerry. Jerry, you, you said everybody, you, you said everybody knows who you is, right? Because I want to know who you is now. Since you want to talk about my father and shit like that. And, and I'm pretty sure you know who I am and what happened to my pops. I You said everybody knows who you are. Please, bro. I'm begging you on my life. I'll give you my Gmail. I'll give you whatever, bro. I'll give you my number. Please tell me who you are, bro. Please. I'm begging you, bro. I'm being, I'm asking, I'm being nice. Tell me who you are, bro. Please. Everybody else knows. I, I don't want to be enlightened. I want to know this secret. Who are you? I mean, you talking greasy, right? Just please, bro. I'm asking night. Just tell me who you is, bro. This is the epitome, bro, of pussy right here, bro. You know, Jerry, it, it, it was it was nice while it lasted, bro. It was nice while it lasted, but. I have no respect for a no knowledgeable fucking fake ass boxing fan. I can't even fucking click a link with a purple fucking avatar. Got the nerve to talk about what I look like when I came up every fucking day. Every day I came up. The nerve of you avatars, bro. The nerve, bro. The fucking nerve of you, bro. Y'all is fucking pathetic. You should be ashamed of yourself, bro. You should be ashamed of yourself, bro. You won't even click a link, bro. I'm supposed to take you serious? You won't even click an electronic link. You won't even talk to me on Wi-Fi, bro. And I'm a bitch? Your whole fucking existence is pathetic, bro. Get the fuck out of here, you banned, bitch. See, y'all don't got me hot today, bro. Like, I, I, I was fine. I was fine, bro. I was chilling. I was just letting y'all talk. I was letting y'all. And Jerry, Jerry, let me find out your port. And let me find out who you is, port. You, you, see, you think, see, you think, see, this whole sticks and stones may hurt and break or whatever. Don't ever hurt me. Let me find out who you are, bro. Let me find out. He is? Anybody know who Port is? Because that's Port. So that's Port talking about my pops like that? Oh. Who, who, where, where is Port? Where can I find him? What channels does Port go to? Seriously, I'm being dead serious. I want to know who he is. I want to know his name. I just want to know. I just want to know who he is. That's it. I'm just trying to find out who the fuck he is. That's all I want to know. He got so much to say about me. And he got so much greasy shit to say about me. When I'm camming up and I'm showing my face and I'm giving him every opportunity to come out here. I just want to know who he is, bro. Let me find you, Port. 
You think I'm fucking with you, bro? You see, you see, you take me. You think, oh, he's a little ass Puerto Rican. Oh, he's a little yeah. He's got his hat backwards. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. Okay, okay. Keep keep fucking around, bro. Keep fucking around. I'm t- I'm telling you, bro. You're. Bro, bro, I'm telling you, bro, when you wait, when you fuck with people that had their parents killed and shit like that, bro, you think I give a fuck what I do to you? Anyone gonna click the link, bro? Cause right now, bro, I'm I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That shit done tore it. That I I don't even know what to talk about. Like, what am I gonna talk about now? Like, what 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 am I gonna talk? I'm not gonna sit here and bash Bill Hay. I I don't did lives on this subject already, bro. I don't cover this extensively. Like, I don't understand. Like, if you, if you don't know what you're talking about and somebody proves it to you, bro, just be like, yo, okay, you showed it to me. My bad. That's it. Why you gotta, why you, why you gotta like, cause I, cause I question your, your, your intelligence when, when you made yourself look stupid. And I know why you probably mentioned my pops because I brought my pops up before and everyone knows here that I've brought my pops up and I talk about him being, uh, how he was murdered and I, and I went to the military. So I know why you did that. I know why you did that. And you think this shit is cute because you hiding behind a purple fucking J. I know you would never say that to me in my face, bro. I know you would never say that to me in front of my face. I I, I know that for a fact, bro. I, I just, I, I know. I know. Is anyone else going to hop on here, man? Because, you know, I'm fucking my whole life up, bro. It's all started. It's all started because... <laughs> Actually, I don't even know why it all started. Y'all still want me to, if if you still watch it from afar, pussy, you still want me to show you uh, what Nestor said? What's good, brother? What's going on, brother? I just came in, by the way. I don't, I don't even know. I just finished doing a live, so. Yeah. So. Hey, can you take? I gotta take care of something. Can you? Uh, can you talk for? You know, hold it down or whatever. Uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, basically. Um, yeah. Uh, the the, okay. the 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 original topic, and I uh, I don't know if you was covering this. The the original topic that I had was uh, let me see. I could go off the title. I could. I could Just go. Off. Hey, you know what? D style, do whatever the fuck you want. Just do whatever you want. I'll be back. Shout out, shout out to Shadow Ghost. I, I'm just, I guess I'm just going to be the wingman here. It is what it is. Samson Luca, what says Crawford wants money like Canelo, but sounds like Amy and should fight boots. <laughs> I don't know why that sounds funny. Like he's doing, he wants money like so. Canelo Alvarez. But he sounds like Haney, which means he doesn't sell that well. I will say this though: I do, I do think Crawford's a bigger name. I think more people know about Crawford. I think I, I do. I, I think he's a bigger draw than Haney. Um, but I'm not saying that says a lot, but but it's saying something, okay? Um, so so is what it is. And he should fight boots. 
I find that interesting. He's telling Crawford what to do. <laughs> Go fight Boots, right? He's trying to tell Crawford what to do, but he doesn't, like, shout to uh, Larry, listen, shout out to you, brother. Um, but, but he doesn't want to tell, like he, like, he gets mad if anybody suggests that Benavides should fight morale, right? So, so I, I don't know. The, the whole thing is stupid, in my opinion. Uh, Larry, listen, what did D style think of the PPC card? I enjoyed it, bro. I gotta be honest. I enjoyed it. I was there. I watched it. I, I, I was like, um, I, I was kind of like, you know, like section D, which is like right where the stands start, and it's like one, two, three, four. You know what I mean? And I was kind of just standing there, um, and 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 I had a good view. I, I enjoyed it. I I, I was late. I lost. Tra- I was in the casino and I lost track. When you're inside a casino, bro, like you lose track of time, right? And I should have known. Uh, it's whatever. But Christine texted me like, "Where the hell are you?" And I'm like, "What do you mean?" And, and it's like, "Oh shit, it's already like three something." Like I missed him in those fight. I missed the, uh, uh, the the prospect. I forgot his name. Um, and then uh, I got to the uh, um. Like first round, Martinez fight to get there. Martinez actually just landed a good shot, hurt him, and then I, I just stayed there, watched that card and, and watched that fight. I was sitting to uh, shot to Liam Wilson, and, and I looked at his family, one of his people from his training team, um, talked to him briefly, and, and you know that was kind of cool. Some people took pictures with with Liam Wilson. Shout out to him, uh, watching the fight, and um, I enjoyed it, man. I, I have no complaints. Right. Now, I was an invited guest, and I didn't pay for it, so, so maybe that's why, but but I just – I enjoyed it. I will say that. Um, I enjoyed the atmosphere. I think Pitbull Cruz had the biggest ovation of the night. It's not even close, all right? It's not even close. Um, and then uh, the Pitbull Cruz beating up Raleigh was 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 glorious, to be quite frank. Um and and Mark, if you want to know, you can jump on, brother. We could have a conversation if you want. If you want to jump on, you know what I mean. We, we, we could we could have that conversation if you want. If you want to jump on, talk. But um, and and then we have um the main event. It was a bloody war. People have a lot to say about Tim Zoo's corner and the, and the Cub Man and all. That. Like I get it. It's not that I don't get it. Um, and criticisms are fair, but. I, I, I'm a spectator, and I witnessed the war. I witnessed a great fight. You know what I mean? So, and there, listen, the Hooters of Martinez fight was a great fight. By the way, Martinez met the guy very briefly, took a photo with him, and, and uh, he Martinez was very like engaged with people, and he stopped and took pictures with people. And and I'm not saying Pitbull wasn't a great guy or nothing. It was more his agent or whatever was kind of pushing people away, like everybody run away. Like you know what I mean? And Pitbull wasn't able to kind of engage as much with people. Um, it was more of his handlers, but but Martinez was just engaged with everybody, bro, and uh, that's good to see. You know what I mean? Um, was, shout out to Hula Cesar Martinez. Always exciting to watch. Underrated fighter, um, and, and I can't have more, uh, more than that. You know what I mean? Um, let me address this really quick. Mark is asking, why did you and G Funky part ways? Um, look, all I could say is this. Um, that's old news. Um, and... And I, 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 all I could say is that G Funky wanted to do his own thing. He went on to do his own thing, and that's it. And, and that, that's, that is it. Like I don't know what else to tell anybody. You know what I mean? Um, like that, 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 that is as far as I'm willing to say, really. To be quite honest with you. So that, that's the story. Kind of a boring story, but this whole like nobody stole anybody's girl, no nobody stole money from each other. You know what I mean? It, it like it's whatever, bro. You know what I mean? That's all it is. Kind of a boring story, to be honest with you. What's next for Fundura, Larry Liston? Um, I know he suspended. Um, not, not for, I saw people asking, why is he suspended? Like, like, cause he's injured. Um, it's not cause he failed a test or something, 
But I don't know how, how they, the commission decided till September. I don't know how they concluded that. Maybe, maybe there's a known science in how you um, treat a nose, I guess. I, I don't know. But I think we'll see Fondura late this year, maybe November, I'm thinking. Um, I, I think we see... I actually still think the, the Tim Zoo fight's going to happen. I don't think it's going to be for the WBO. And no one's going to like hearing this, but I wouldn't be shocked if Spence Crawford happens. Like, it just wouldn't shock me. Um, the, the problem with the, 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 the issue that I personally have with Crawford, okay, the, the issue I have with Crawford is – The money he wants. I can't give you no details, but I have an idea, probably more of an idea of what he wanted for Zoo. And the only thing I was thinking was, well, what the fuck's left for Tim Zoo? You know what I mean? Like that that's the only thing that, that was running through my mind. So what's so what's left for Tim Zoo then? Right? What does Tim Zoo get? Like that's me in my mind. Like it's what I was thinking, right? So I, I don't know. If that's 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 a hundred percent. I don't know if he's going to want that for every fight. I don't know if you know he was trying to take advantage of a situation, maybe. But that situation doesn't is, exist anymore. And it tends Crawford is wanting those type of numbers um, as guarantees, mind you. You have to ask yourself, okay, so so let, let, let's go step by step. So if Crawford wants X amount of money. And Fondura's team or anybody else is not willing to give him that money, right? What he's asking for in negotiations. And they, they, he doesn't budge. He doesn't come down to a reasonable amount. You might say, well, the, the WBO will enforce him. They will force a purse bid. Well, if you know how purse bids work, the promoters bid for the fights, okay? And if no one puts up the money that Terrence Crawford wants, right? And there's going to be a split. So they're going to have to, if this is the split, right? This is Crawford's amount and this is the other fighter's amount. So a promoter has to put up that amount. Okay? So if, if a promoter doesn't put up that amount, then what? Like, let's say the highest bidder puts $5 million, just hypothetically speaking. Let's say Crawford is the one getting 70%, 80%. Well, that's still not. I mean, 80 or 70% of 5 million is not anywhere near what Crawford's looking for. So then what is he going to do then? Because the WBO couldn't enforce a mandatory. They could, enforce, they could order a purse bid, but they can't order. You know what they can't do is order these promoters to fork out the money and pay Terrence Crawford because Terrence Crawford wants that money. So I could see... Uh, you know, I, I, I could personally see a scenario, right, where Terrence Crawford, I'm not saying he's frozen out, because to me, frozen out is when they're purposely leaving you out of the picture. But he could maybe be pricing himself out here because he's overvaluing what he believes he's worth, Okay. Punchy, I do see the question, but it's a stupid question. So I don't answer stupid questions. You know what I mean? Like, like it is what it is. He doesn't see the question. Of course I can see the question. I have two 2020 eyes. I have really good vision. But I'm not going to answer a stupid question like that. I was answering the other questions. Uh, uh, punchy. Now that's a question I could answer. Dragon style, Moritai versus Shakur. How do you see that going? Um, I actually like Murataya's chances in that fight. I think he, I think he has the speed and explosiveness, right, to give Shakur some problems. My issue with Shakur, good fighter. Um, you know what I mean? A really good fighter, like uh, skills, all that. But the problem I have with Shakur is it's like he doesn't punch through the target. He kind of just wants to 
I get he's had stoppages and all that, but it's usually when he like a cumulative damage and, and he wears the guys down usually. But like against when he faces someone who has a little bit of athleticism, is a little explosive, like like De Los Santos, he, he plays it very safe, especially if they have power. He plays it very safe. And I should think that De Los Santos fight was really close. Um, personally. You know what I mean? That that's what I think. All right. And Pachi, I don't know if you were if you were talking about that dumb other dumb question from that other dude, but uh, I like that question now. Huh? You know what I mean? Um, OG Blaze, who do you think Pitbull fights next? D style. Hey, 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 D style, hold on real quick. Hey, do you yeah. do a, do you know a dude named Port? Who? Port. P O R T. Yeah. I you don't know think who he so. is? Off the top of my head, it's not ringing the bell. Why? All right, not nothing. Go ahead. Okay. Who the fuck's port? Like, what's, what's going on? Um, so, back to the question. Of, who, who do you think Pitbull fights next, style? I think I, I think that old dude, what's his name? Um, Barroso. Barroso. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, you just said Barroso. Um, who the fuck is Port, bro? Like, like what's, what's going on right now? Anyway, um, so is that who it is? The dude who used to take shits and, and on live streams and shit? That dude? Um, but uh, I, don't know, I don't know if there's a Mexican pigeon, but I just know about the other one, I guess. Um Barroso versus Pitbull. That's a I like I like that fight. Give me that fight. You know what I mean? Um, I I think like if Barroso's can land clean, I'll be interested to see um, if if Barroso's has the power to hurt Cruz. You know what I mean? Is what I think, quite frankly. You know what I mean? Boxing dialogue. How's it going, bro? I haven't seen it in a while. I probably have, but um, I've been terrible about reading my comments during my shows now. But um, if you have been there, I apologize. But but uh, good to see you. Uh, Larry Liston, Pitbull versus Eric Gusjav. Is that how you pronounce that? Eric uh, Like, okay. Um, but I actually want to see Pitbull... Who could he fight? I think Pitbull beats that Smith do. Because we, we, we need to get some vengeance for for uh, uh, for, for a guy, John Cepeda, bro. We need, we need that vengeance. You know, we need that vengeance back in blood. I think he knocks out Smith, quite frankly. Um, that's what I think. Bam versus Pitbull versus Russell. Which Russell? Is there a Russell in the mix at 140? Did Antoine Russell. Antoine Russell. Oh, Gary, oh, Gary which, Russell's brother. Gary which Russell's is the brother. one that lost? So is it the one at 118? Yeah, Gary. Yeah, uh, oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're talking. Uh, you're right. You're right. So I don't really, remember which is the one that lost. It wasn't Antoine. Okay. Yeah, we, we could do that shit. Dalton Smith, though, versus Pibble. I think Pibble beats him. It's my opinion. Um. I think Pitbull's in the mix, man. I'm not counting him out. I, I'm not even counting him out in the in the Tank rematch. I think that was a close fight. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I think I think Tank saying my hand was here was all bullshit. Okay, that was him and Floyd gaslighting because they know they were in a fight. Quite frankly, that's what I think. So, yeah, man. So how, how's so, everything, bro? Everything's good. I just came back from Vegas. Now I came back on. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, I saw that interview Sunday. that I really liked, bro. Uh, the one that uh, uh, he was interviewing some guy in regards to uh, and I, I remember he was telling you about uh, Amador. Uh, he was talking. You you were interviewing him, and you was talking about uh, um, Val, Val, Val Valdez. And 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 the guy was like, you know, he. That's where I learned. I I learned for the first time that uh, uh Liam, is was with Zoo and them. Yeah, he's like the same management, yeah, but he's trained over there, yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, great guy, Liam. I was sitting next to him at the fight. Oh yeah, yeah. Great I mean, guy. Uh, um, that it uh, it was a good fight though. Great fight. It, it was a good fight, and, and I'll tell you what, man. That 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 dude. Uh, every time he fights, bro, he 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 shows a good account of himself, even in losing. You know. Yeah, There's like I, I think guys like that. I think I think. Do you remember Friday Night Fights, bro? Yeah. Yeah, like, we need Friday night fights back. Like some a show on that level. Now I know we have pro box and they're doing a great job, and and but I, I'm talking about like like on the zone or something. Like we just need like a show that's known for like 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 that, like like Friday night fights. Um, and I guess Showbox is kind of filling that void a little bit. Like I, I know we saw um the Axeman. Uh, he came back, got a big win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Axeman. Yep. Yeah, yep. I, I want to bet on that. It was he was a four point five one favorite, four and a half to one favorite uh, underdog. That is, I want to bet. Wait, on wait, that. who was who was who was the underdog? The Axeman. Really? I couldn't believe it. Me neither. Like, no, he only, okay. had one, he only had one loss to Loma. Right? I couldn't believe he was the underdog. I just couldn't believe it was as that much of an underdog. Like you know what I mean? I was like, oh, this is steal. And that was just to win, bro. Like, just, like, no extra, just him to win. And I was like, oh, I'll take this. You know what I mean? Now, I lost it all on, on my uh, Tim Zoo bet, though, so it is what it is. But <laughs> I bet Tim Zoo knock out one through six with, the, with those winnings. And I thought I was going to get there, by the way. After round 12, they're like, oh, we're getting there. And then the cut happened, so it is what it is. You know what I mean? So, yeah. But I had a fun time with her, man. Met the team. Um Met, met a couple of people out there, some YouTubers, um, met some writers, some, some people in the media, met, met some fighters out there, fun stuff. There's nothing like Vegas. Um, what do you what do you think about uh I I think I heard you talking about it when when I was over there. Uh you were talking about Crawford with Crawford and uh you, Samson Lukowitz had made a uh Samson Lukowitz. It seemed like every time they 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 brought up Crawford, he seemed I don't know. It was just the way he shut it down. He's trying to do to Crawford what he accuses Canelo of doing to Benavides. Say that again? He's trying to do to Crawford. Like he's trying to A-site Crawford, in other words. As if Fondura is this big, hot commodity like Canelo is. And he's not. Oh, you know so, okay. Because he, he also turned around and was like, uh, you know... Uh, uh, Crawford needs to fight boots and, 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 uh, and he's like, that's the honorable thing to do. And you know what I mean? And it, and I was like, damn, every time they mention Crawford, it's like, he shoots, like, it just almost seems like, I'm not going to say, it just seems like he didn't, he doesn't, I'm not going to say he doesn't like him. It's just the way he shuts it down. He, he said, uh, you know, this dude's asking for money. Like, 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 like he's Floyd so or that part is Canelo. And then he said, and then he said, when, when he's really like Devin, when he's really like, like Devin Haynes to me, like, it's partly true, though, about the money Crawford's asking for. Oh yeah, I agree with that. But what what do you like? What do you mean when when he says he's like Devin? The, 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 does he mean like? The, oh, he means he mean he's like, not a draw. Like he doesn't draw anything. He wants he wants Canelo. He wants money like a guy like Canelo was a big mega star like that, right? But yeah. he's actually just as popular as a Devin Haney who can't sell more than hundred thousand pay per views. Okay. There's but in fair, I I, I didn't say though. Sell, who who sells more, Devin or 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 uh, Crawford? Uh, Crawford. Okay. But but he's closer to Devin than Canelo though. I'll, I'll tell you that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like he's closer to zero than a million. You know, and right. buys. So, like it is what it is. I mean, but see, I I'm also I'm also under. See, I look at it like this, and I was talking about this earlier. It's the issue that I have, D, D Styles. Mm -hmm. You see, we you already know how this community is. They're they're quick to shit on people's accomplishments and, and, and every time somebody beats somebody, he's a bum and all this other stuff. And then you have a, a, a person that can acquire two or three belts, right? And then he does all that hard work, but then he'll fight somebody who's never even gotten one belt, and yet because that guy obviously is more popular, he gets mm -hmm. a larger share. And I feel like it takes away from the accomplishments. What is the like? You know what I mean? Like what? What other, other than saying? Other than saying, I legacy. I did some legacy. I took it. That other than that, because it's like you would think that gathering more belts 
would give you being the A side or whatever. But obviously, like a Ryan Garcia would probably be an A side over a Roley who had a belt, even though we don't yeah. think he deserved a belt. So see, here's a predicament that Crawford's in. And it's kind of a self-inflicted predicament. Um, but I think it's his mentality. So do you remember you remember Martinez Cotto, right? Huh? You remember Martinez Cotto, right? Yeah. I know you remember. I mean, come on. Yeah, like, Martinez Cotto, yeah. yeah. Do you remember the face-off they had? No, I don't remember the face-off, but I do remember the So fight. so this is what happened in the face-off. Um Ma Martinez was like in the face-off, mm -hmm. was insulted that it was being called a B-side, right? And he was like looking at Kellerman like, do you think I'm a B-side? I'm the reigning champion. I defended the belt so mm -hmm. many times. And I knocked out Paul Williams. I beat Kelly Pavlik. And he's saying I'm B? Mm -hmm. Like he was looking at it like B-level. Like, you, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? But that's not what they meant at all. It just meant Cotto's the A-side, not because he's more accomplished at middleweight than you, but because he's just, he's a bigger name than he's you. A bigger he's name. a bigger name. Right, right. Right. right, and I think, and I think that's that's where people like, I think maybe I think Crawford thinks that way. Like, look at what I've I've been undisputed in two weight classes. I, I've been world okay, champion. Well, don't, 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 you think right, don't you think he has a right to feel that way, though? I mean, like, yeah, no, no, that's what I mean. Like, he's been lineal champion in three weight classes, which I think lineal is a bigger deal than undisputed, in my opinion. Right, right? and he's been undisputed. Even if, and if you disagree with that, he's been undisputed in two weight classes. And now, if we're honest, more than likely, if he fights for a belt, more than likely he becomes a four division champion, mm -hmm. right? So, like, this is his accomplishment. So, if somebody asks me, does he deserve that? Then I'll say, of course he does, right? I think I think he deserves that Canelo money, but that's not the way. That's not the way works. it works. That's yeah, like it. like it's not about what I think he deserves. Like, you know what I mean? Like it just isn't. Don't um, you think though? Don't you think? Don't you think though that knowing, knowing, knowing that you can accomplish all that and still not make that type of money, doesn't that like might might dis encourage people to be like, what the fuck am I gonna do all that for when I could all I could tell you this for I can't go into details, but I was told some figures. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And when they told me what, what Crawford wanted to fight Tim, I literally said to myself. So what's Tim gonna get? A fifteen million? I, I can't. It, I can't. It, okay, fine. I, I, I just Samson, can't. Samson said. Samson said. No, I'm fine. I get it, and I, I respect that. You don't want to give your the source of what they said or whatever. I know Samson said. Everyone knows million. that I was in Vegas. Everyone knows what team I was over there with. I, I'm just. Yeah. What I'm telling you is, I said to myself, "What the fuck is Tim Zoo gonna get?" And 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 and, 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 and you know what's crazy? It's Tim. It, at that time, it was Tim yeah. Zoo's belt. Yeah. So, yeah. so I kept thinking to myself. Yeah. So no one's going to give him that money. And if no one gives him that money and the WBO says, we order a purse bid. I still don't think any promoters going to put up that money, bro. Because they got to put up the money. It's a split. Like the, the split needs to be what Crawford wants. And then the other fighter needs to make money too. Right, and, and Samson, Samson, Samson made it clear. Samson said, uh, for Spence, for Spence and Crawford, he said, um, he said, you know, my my job is to look out for the best interests of my fighter uh, 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 for everything, and 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 that means financially, and that and that means you're not gonna come here and take fifty or more from my fighter who's a champion, and he's doing his job. He's doing his job as as he should. As 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 he should, but but the thing is, so I believe it is self inflicted with Crawford right now because I feel like um, the last time he's fought is when he fought Spence. He went from thinking he was gonna fight Jamel after that fight. He's like he backed off. Then he thought he was gonna fight Canelo, which he said he would never fight, and then that didn't work out. Then uh, I I think they were fishing. I think they were fishing out there. When they threw in uh what's his name from the UK? Uh at 168 or 160. What's his name? Uh not not hey, what's his name? Uh not Ben. What's his name, yeah? Uh the one that uh the, the other one. You got Connor Ben and then you got the other son, the other son from the legend. I always forget him. He trained by Roy Jones. 
You know what I'm talking about? You bank. You bank. Thank you. I think, thank you. I think they threw, I think they were fishing when they, when they mentioned Eubank's name just to see how like people would react to it. But uh, Bo Max shut that down. He said, nah, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't doing that. And then, and then, uh, uh, now, now it went from Tim Zoo. Now it's like the WBO is, 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 it's like he's doing it to himself because it feels, I feel like he's asking for too much. So, yeah. what the, so but, do you think at this again, point he should, he should have just fought boots? That's what Samson said. Yeah, but but like I don't know what boots is going to bring that money either. You know what I mean? But that's Samson's point. Samson, but, but see if if you read between the lines, what I got from it is this: Samson is saying, "Bro, you're not gonna fucking get that money because you don't put the ass. You're better off just fighting boots." That's what he's saying. That's what I took out of it. And he also said the honorable thing to do would be fight boots. So I don't know what the uh, so uh, regardless. Whether you think he did it to himself or not, you don't think he's gonna get that fight. Uh, the WBO sanctioned it. I, I can't say, bro. I just think he he needs to look. I think he should try, but if no one gives him the money, then he has one choice: drop the price. What do stores do when they put apparel up and no one buys it? Well, you got to do what? Drop the price. You know what I mean? Like it is what it is. That the market will dictate. Market always self corrects itself. You know yeah, I mean? We're talking about it. We're talking about a guy that 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 literally didn't so called cross the other side of the street because he wanted to stay on top rank because he knew he was getting a certain guarantee. So you know he's about that. You know. Yeah, I, I could I could see that, but look, I gotta get rolling, brother. Yeah. Um, no, thank you for coming through. Hey, thank late, you for holding it. it too. Yeah, thank you for holding it down. I'm gonna shut this down too, bro. But thank you for coming through and holding it down yeah, while I was sure, going sure. live, man. You know, and uh, sh- shout out to the chat. And uh, shout out to Hawker Mustang and his trolling, but it's all good. You know what I mean? Uh, but I'm out, guys. Peace out. All right, man. Take it easy, man. All right, bro. Hey, man, I appreciate y'all. My bad for spazzing out earlier, bro, but some things get me like that, bro. And I'm going to find out. Best believe I'm going to find out. Um, I appreciate y'all for being here, though, bro. I'll be going live whenever next time is. I'm out.